All right, anyway, Hogwarts Legacy, day three. Um, also, um, I would just like to give a warning out um, ahead of time. I do not expect our projector to stay standing the entire day. I, I don't. Oh, I just realized our, um, our, our room back here, it's got our house flag, right? It's got our broomstick. And it's designed in how we designed our, uh... Oh, Deke! Yo, what up, dude? What's up, man? What What is this room called? I forget what this room's called. You guys know what room I'm talking about. The one that you can customize and everything. Alright, so we're starting the day... Level 16. We'll probably play about as long as we did yesterday. Um, so we are right on the start of a new quest line. Which is why I wanted to stop where I stopped yesterday. Because I didn't want to get going into this quest line yesterday. And then stop like in between or whatever. Or go for another four hours or whatever. I, di I didn't want to do all that. So we decided to wait. And now we're going to get started. Um, basically just guns blazing. Right out the gate. Maybe today we'll remember our little tab wheel thing and we'll actually use the cabbages in combat. I don't know. Maybe we we will, maybe we won't. Um When do we get like our mount though? Cuz like I I I have a mount. Or at least tab to equip. Well, that's what I just tried to do. So it looks like we can have 3 thrown out at one time. No, we gotta go up. Our common room's up. It's up one floor. How I wonder, nice to see you, my young friend. I wonder what's over there where those guards uh like cut us off from. I wonder what's over there. You point now. What's up, man? What's up? So, the, the tower is to the north. What was it? The north. I want to initially say northeast, but I think it's northwest. And this door, I mentioned it yesterday. This door. I want to figure this out. I want this one to be the one that we figure out. Anyway. What is our inventory look like? Like our gear inventory. What what does that look like? Do we need to dump everything? Do we need to go towards Hogsmeade? Uh we do. My game, I'll tell you what, does not like me going in and out of the gear tab. Or any any of those tabs, really, for that matter. It, it's like it unrenders the entire game. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, we're gonna go out this way, and we're gonna jump on our broomstick, and we're gonna get... Wait. Can I do that here? I can. There's Hogsmeade. We can see it already. We gotta get low. Oh, skim in the water. Oh, yeah, we're clean with it. Oh, yeah, we're so clean with it now. I don't think it matters the store that we go Sometimes into in Hogsmeade. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
but almost out of habit, it just, we, we gotta go to the same one, you know? Oh, what is this? Come now, don't be stingy. I dig it. New instruments are expensive, you know. Like you even need new instruments. Look at you go, man. Very That's fire. I like that. I like that. There's Jay Pippin's potions. Giddy. I always. I, why do I always think I that's. Saw what you did. Ha! Oh! No tolerance for thieves. Oh, got him. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Oh. Hand them nice. back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. Oh my god, Azkaban? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that one. That, that seems a little much. <laughs> Those guys got busted. Ollivanders. Um... Is it? Is it the overpass? Right here. Yeah, we're we're getting there. We're, we're learning. We're learning the map. Chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Oh, he's he's selling some nice stuff. All right. Uh, I mean, we're pretty much just gonna sell everything. Because we don't need to hold on to anything. What we're wearing is already the best gear for us. I'm sure somebody's going to be watching this and be like, Oh, no, you sold this. This was a great item or whatever, but... Hmm. We can actually start styling a little bit. A little bit. These are ones that are out of our range. I mean, we can still buy them. Oh, I can compare to what I currently have equipped. Uh, that's a lot of defense. Like, a lot? And how much is this? 500? I mean, I guess. You won't be disappointed. That's Why a not? Direct promise. That's up 12. That's up 14. Uh, and then we'll get we'll get these. We'll get those two. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad direct promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Actually, I wanted to look at, at these. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Nah. Nah. Alright. Thank you, I sir. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Oh, uh, let me, before we leave, let's put on our new gear and then turn around and sell what we're not going to be wearing right back to him. Quip. Those are actually kind of nice, though. 
you can't go wrong with the classic, though. You know what I mean? Oh, well, wow. Well, look how dapper we look. But I just can't get over that one, man. I really like that one. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Uh, sell some of this back. Make a little bit of extra dough on top. So we made, so we spent a thousand. We made back like two hundred, something like that. Stop by whenever you're about. Uh, and then I don't think that there's anything else that I need to do, so we can just cut straight through the north side of Hogsmeade, and then we'll, uh, we'll meet Professor Fig. Oh, Snipe it? Can I snipe it? Oh, I did. My game broke, but we got it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You know? I don't think it does. Getting spicy out here. Dude, out here at night is wild. Uh, tab three. What's going on over here? We could get some combat in. Level 16? <sighs> I won't rest. Confringo. Boom. Franrock has fooled you all to your demise. What is this? What do we have here? Revelio. Is this a little goblin camp? Oh. A little bit of heat going. Let's check this out. I don't know what this is over here. Let's check it out. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Do I want to do this? Let's do it. This usually opens up a gate of some sort. Well, how do I? How do we get in here? Revelio. We're dying. Our game's breaking. You know, I actually said I wasn't going to do that. And then I turned around and I did it. Alright, all should be fixed. Mickey, brother. Doing the old spin and sit, but pushing my entire table. Who is that? Okay, so I don't think... Wait a second. How do I? Akio. Can I pull this? Levioso. No, that's not gonna do anything. What about that? Aha. What did we... Okay, well, what was the point of that? Revelio. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, hey, we found the way in. I did all that for five gold? That might not have even been from that. Lumos. Whoa! Okay. 
Can't go that way. Got it. Way out. Not a way in. Revelio. I mean, I, I feel like I could just maybe fly in there, but I feel like you're not supposed to do that. I don't know. Maybe you are. We'll come back. We know this is here now. This is right next to Hogsmeade. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, suppose it could get a bit boring. Oh, there they are down there. Look at them. Look at them. There's so many of them out there. Uh, what, are, what are these little extra dueling tasks that they give us? What do those do? We told Professor Fig yesterday that we knew about this tower. Um, that was the wrong tower. Whoa! We've not been out here to this tower. Is he out here? Flu flame. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was for. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, totally meant to do that. I'm always in control. And now we wait. Over here. What's up, Fig? What's up, Fig? We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And... I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Those goblins in my family weren't the mines at one time or other. Quickly now. Well, you're the one that wasn't using it. Reaching an enemy undetected allows you to cast P Petrificus Totalis. This will permanently incapacitate a weaker enemy or significantly damage a stronger one. Well, what determines a weaker versus a stronger one? Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Reminds me of the time I did I don't have that, do I? I was only young once. Uh -huh. Oops. Well done. I didn't know it was gonna button prompt me, and I was like, that's my ancient magic spell? <laughs> that's not what I was supposed to use. Back it up. Yeah, I probably made this significantly harder on us by, uh, you know, wrong button. Petrificus Totalus. I'm famished. Uh, there must be something. Gotcha. Thank you. Gotta line them pockets. You know how it is. We're gonna hit left then right. Bang. You gotta get really close.
Revelio. There must be something here. The Revelio actually so. has a good distance to it. I guess we gotta take them all out. What a stud with his hood and everything. Yoink. Who's there? Hmm. Not quiet enough. Oh, I got the wrong set. I thought about using a distraction technique, uh, but I didn't think we were going to get both of those guys at the same time. Orders directly from Ranrock. Search the tower in the surrounding area. That they're after something to do with names. Key to goblin kind, finally. Why here is a good question. I will hey. draw blood. Oh, it's on. Whoa! You can't be lagging on us like that. There you are. No! <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. Expelliarmus. Gotcha. Leviosa. Accio. Have a good one. Oh seven. Did I get hit? I think I got hit once. I think it was on the lag. Uh, the lag hit at the start. Not cool. Can we go make corn pop. Wait, isn't the the corn pop? Aren't those just like? Fluffy Doritos? How on earth could they have known about this place? Well, probably the... Well, actually, that's a... That, yeah, that's actually a good idea, because we knew from literally the source. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Oh, well, look at you. Okay. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can rebel back at the castle. I wonder who this is. Merlin? With robes like that, it could be anyone. Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. That's popcorners. When you make popcorn, the corn pops. I'm gonna go make corn pop. Oh! See, I read that as, like, corn pop is an actual thing, not... You're gonna go make popcorn, but you're gonna make the corn pop. Understood. Understood. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Heck, you broom. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Oh. How much gold? Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see.
We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Aye, sir. And away he goes. All right, we have to find the entrance to the first the Reservoir trial. of Ancient Magic. Downstairs, near the entry. Yep. One second. Bro, where was all this money when I came through the first time? Health as well, gotta hydrate. You know how it is. I think we found it. Dude, there was no way they were gonna be able to get in here. We're in. What lies ahead? The first trial. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's time. You know that uh, in the Forbidden Forest, that place that we could have dropped down into? I bet it's going to be something like that. Oh, we need to do our plants. That's, that's how we should start off every day, is go into our herbology class. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Wow. Wow, cool, bro. All right, well, we obviously can't cross the bridge, so let's go down this way. Impressive. That must mm -hmm. have done something. Well, the bridge, you doofus. I tend to favor my left side. I tend to go left most times. Uh -huh. That's so trippy. Revelio. Anything here? Nothing here. Hold that thought. Yeah, now we gotta go back to our room. Because now we have an unidentified item. More traces of ancient magic. Something Portal. must be different. It's this side. Revelio. Wow. This is crazy, man. Well, as soon as we step through. No? Okay. We're not going to be attacked. These uh -oh. are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. 
Oh, I thought, whoa! What was that? Hit him with the old one, two, three combo. I was gonna break the egg. Revelio. Okay, so we can go this way or we can go right. I'm gonna go this way. What have the keepers planned for me? Akio. Nope. I'll be honest, I don't know that they're... I mean, unless I just... Boom. Oh! Aha! Now, how long does it stay? Revelio. Okay, I'm just checking to make sure there's not another one, you know? Oh, 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 oh. I got scared. I got scared. I bailed. Would that close it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Faster! <laughs> That's so scary that they move around like that. See, this is a good thing that we stopped and went to, uh... <laughs> I hate that it moves. Uh, it's it's a good thing that we went to Hogsmeade though and got rid of all of our crap because uh, Well, we're getting a lot of crap now. So these look familiar Yep This is probably just a place for us to land when we fall inevitably Akio. Oh, we're insane I went over there. How do I get over there, though? Revelio. Oops. Akio. Akio. It's gotta be a way over there, right? Was it Akio I used before? There's something in here. Ow. Confringo. It didn't like me doing that. Okay. Not in here. Alright, I don't know. I don't know, I don't see anything like immediately that's like, oh yeah, you need to do this instead, you know? That platform looks like it ought to get me where I need to go. Unless I pull it like all the way down here. I'm too far out for that. There's no way I can make the jump. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. But where? I'm so close. I'm like right there. There's no way I can make that jump though. I don't know. We'll come back. Or we'll... Uh, no. Can't use that one. Um, or we won't. I don't know. Rebellion. Oops. Wrong button. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, I just needed to progress, it looks like.
Whoa, the whole room changed. What? Akio. Well, that made that easy. More oh, I didn't, I didn't walk through the thing. I don't know if I need to, but I didn't. Akio. Okay. Revelio. Uh, I guess it's, I mean we got something extra. I guess it's a good thing we did that. Levioso. Oh, I tried to be fast bad and I forgot which one it was. Expelliarmus. Levioso. <laughs> You know, it's funny that you asked that question because I thought the same exact thing. Like just now when I heard the the whispers, I thought the same thing. Why is this platform here? Oh my god, we almost got stuck. His sword's broken. So is his. He's also decapitated. Revelio. Is there a way up? Aha, there is. Yeah. Gotta bring the platform over here. Huh. Well, there's no platform, which means. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Aha! But we gotta get on it first, right? Huh, I think... What we need to do... I'm th I'm thinking something along the lines of that we need to be in it first or what on did it that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway something must be different drop down you'll be all right Am I overthinking this, guys? I think I'm overthinking this. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Well, yeah. 
Okay, so we'll move the platform back over here. Akio. Drop down. You stud. Can I jump so onto it. it? I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Akio. Oh. I was way overthinking it. Oh, and then I gotta... We gotta go back through it. Oh, I gotta go through this side. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. We did it! I'll never get used to these floors. No, I will not. Anytime they move, I'm like, oh god, we're gonna die. Is it just you, man? Expelliarmus! Nope. Woo! Good friend. Oh, I missed. Oh, I actually almost hit the one in the back. There's so many of them. Ow. Dude, maybe I'll stop getting hit by those. I took a beating on that. I threw one of the cabbages out there. Did it do anything? That was a lot. Okay. I think we're good. I don't think there's anything over here. I really did that puzzle though. I I severely overcomplicated that that bridge puzzle. If you can even call it a puzzle, it wasn't even really a puzzle. It was like, hey, just move the platform. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Am I good to walk through this? Uh, if I go through it though, the platform. Oh no, if I go through it, the platform's not there. Got it. Okay, how do I do this one? Akio! Oh. I have to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Well, there's no bridge and there's a plat. It's almost mirrored on the other side. But how do I... We got it. Akio. 
There's a chest there on the other side, though. We're not gonna be able to get that. Oh. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Oh no, they gave us a lot of potions, guys. Well, I ain't playing around this. Expelliarmus. Oh. Big boys like that. Whoa. We're doing great. Boom! Oh, hey! What's up? Whoa! My guy wasn't playing around. This guy's no joke. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Very simple pattern. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. What a relief. That guy was uh, loud, <laughs> uh, but also cool. Revelio. I don't use the throwing spell too often. Where you grab stuff and just sling it at the enemy. I, I, I don't use that very often. Another pensive. We're gonna learn. Oops. That's what I meant to do. 
Percival, what you got for us? Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts. Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Something's up with her, man. Something's up. I feel like she's teetering on the on the edge. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Are they gonna put it straight into the map chamber? Yep, I guess so. Something's up with her, man. I don't know. I don't know. Like it almost feels like she's gonna be one of those people that's like she has good intention, but she's gonna get lost. All along the way, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't know. I could be wrong about that. They could be leading us to think that, but I don't know. Like I said, I think it's gonna be one of those uh, good intentions gone astray sort of ordeals. And we're back. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. 
You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Yes? Professor Rookwood? Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. We have we we've seen those, right? We are back in our common room. <clears throat> Do we have mail? Um, not any unopened. All right, let's take a look at our gear while we're here. Did we upgrade it all? Nope. Those are close to house gloves. Close. What about here? Did we upgrade here? Uh, we're even with those. Nope. We did upgrade there. We upgraded across the board, actually. Boom! Oh, yeah. Without the cloak, I bet that looks sick. Alright, we downgraded there. We went even here. I kind of like that one. Oh, we got to identify this one. <laughs> that would look great without a, uh, a, a cloak. Uh, change appearance. Yeah, see, that's some swagger right there. <laughs> that's some swag right there. That's what I'm talking about. We have, do we have two of these now? Oh, that one is tan. Oh, I actually like that too. That's some heat too. We might rock that for a little while. We're switching it up a little bit. Alright, we're up to six talent tree points now. 
Six extra. Oh, we've got tier two stuff. Okay. So we can upgrade or we can unlock one more of those, which I don't think we necessarily need just yet. Wigan Weld heals you to a greater effect. Well, we're not running low on it yet, so I don't think we necessarily need it. Uh, the stun for longer time, we don't need that. Ancient magic meter. Locking a perfect, uh, or a spell with per per perfect Protego will send two projectiles back towards enemies. Increase the range of Revelio. Face cast impacts on... Uh, okay, so it just gives us more ancient magic is really what all these are going to do. I mean, nothing really too crazy in this tree, I'll be honest. Confrigo impacts increase fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. I mean, we are going to be... We, we're using this one more than... Our other fire ability. I do want to learn that ice ability, so we're definitely going to go to class. Tier 2 Dark Arts. A cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. It lasts a long time already. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Still seem pretty alright with that. We haven't really had too many stealth opportunities. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to upgrade anything just yet, I think. I think we're good on talents. Um, challenges. Dragonhide Protector's Cloak. Well, let's claim that, because that looks awesome. Let's take a look at it. Okay. That was the artifact that we need to hold on to. And gear. Uh, what did we just get? What was it? I don't even remember. It was a coat, wasn't it? Oh, it probably goes under the... Um... Yeah, we'll rock those. Um, appearance, right? Here? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Didn't look as cool as I thought it was going to, but it didn't look bad either. Swag. You know, we're actually not wearing any house stuff, so I feel bad. I feel bad, so we're actually going to switch off of that. We gotta stay representing, man. Does this have any house? Nope. So we, I mean, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stay wearing our house gear, man. As cool as that hat looks. Why is it way faster through that menu? I don't know. All I know is that it is. All right, we're gonna do that so we don't accidentally throw cabbages. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. <laughs> Stop by the shop when you can. Uh, we're gonna go do that I right now. You will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be he? able to help each other. Oh. That's the um Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Okay. Have we done anything with Professor Onai yet? Uh anyway, uh Moon is he's the groundskeeper, right? He's the guy that we ran into when uh Natty was taking us to Hogsmeade. Um, keep going down. Down, down, down. I don't know if it'll be faster to go across the bridge there than to come down and go across, but 
Wait, can we? Oh, no, we can't do it from here. I was going to take flight from right there. I do know we can get straight out from the tower, though. I think if we go to the moving staircase, it'll uh, allow us to get to the central hall. I think that's where that will go. Nope. Tab three. Not shift three. Wait a second. Before we do this, this quest has a lock on it. Let's go to quests, because I, I don't understand that. Um... Beast class... Professor Garlic's assignment... Oh, that's right! Wingardium Leviosa! We want to learn that. Descendo... Purchase a broom enchantment. Okay, okay, so we can do that. Okay. We just also happen to have a main quest out here as well. So we don't have to be doing that to use this. And we're here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Boom upgrades a thousand, and that's a special price. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. That item is of the highest quality. That's, that's my broom right there. Thanks for stopping by. I, I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It Got may you. sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to take this first upgrade there, right. it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sure. It sounds as if you're sure. really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Off to yeah, the races, yeah. then. We got stuff to sell. What's up? Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. Listen, you know who I am, man. Uh, sell. 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 All. Of. Not that one. These. Items. Please. And thank you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. See you Be later. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. Alright, let's exit out this side and uh, hop on the old broomstick. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. How far out do we gotta go? Guess we're about to find out. Boom! Oh, oh. 
yep, yep, gotcha. I saw it. Whoa. Skirt in the edge. Whoa, we need you. Here we go. There ah. you go. Yoink. All right, we got classes to attend to now. If we learn enough of these classes or uh, these spells, we're definitely going to need that extra that extra ability slot or whatever. Out the way, birdos. Coming through. Home run. Uh, I mean, we're here. <laughs> Game, please. Thank you. I mean, we're here. We just head out to the field. I sent a to Wonder if they can hear us. Oh wait. She's all the way out there. Oh, I thought she was right there by the field. <laughs> no thanks. I know that's not where the course is, but... We need to go to... Professor Garlic's class. Greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, the library. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Nice. Professor. Hi. Uh, wait. What is the reason for these additional assignments, Professor? They're meant to help you hone your magical skills outside of the classroom, thus preparing you to learn a new charm, Wingardium Leviosa. Before we plant the seed, we must till the soil. When you're finished with them, come and see me and we'll work on the charm together. I look forward to it. I didn't think we had things that we had to do first. Um... No, that's the owl post. We need this one. A venomous tentac tentacula and a mandrake. I don't even know where to get those. Should I need seeds or plants? I need death cap. Uh, let me see the assignment, but my map can still prove useful. Okay. Um, well, we're tracking this quest, obviously. I'm confused. What is dogweed and deathcap even? I mean, I, I've seen it mentioned before, but have we even... Okay. I guess I've got to... Will not guide me through this assignment, but my map will still prove useful. So my field guide won't help me. But my map will. Oh, these are Merlin trials? Ancient magic hotspot.
Dragon. Small bandit camp. Huh. Do we need to go exploring? I'm a little confused on how I go about this. Do I need any seeds or plants? I can visit Dogweed Death Cap. I'm so I'm so confused. Um I feel like he's trying to tell me something, but I don't know what it's trying to tell me. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah, and I don't really know where I'm going. Okay, well, I guess we can take a look and see what else we have. Did that open up my quests directly to quests? No, it will not. <laughs> it will not. Uh, the beasts class. Something that we need to do. Um, we gotta come back to that side quest. I have no idea where this class is. Is it up? No, it's down. Why do I always hear water sound there? We're going out? Don't fall. No pressure. Oh, he's got it. Kind of. He's... He's got it. Oh, and he fell. He had it. I have no idea what Beast's class is gonna... Obtain us. I would assuming we're gonna be learning about creatures. Everybody's here already. I'm late. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Gerald! Hi, buddy! Use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. What? That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. What? Oh, I was gonna say, what Would are we gonna do? Eat, eat him? Some beast feed.
Oh, he's so happy. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. There you go, buddy. Hey, you want some? There you go. What about you back there? You want some? Yeet! <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, I'm right there here. you are. I would like a moment, please. What, are the, what do we got over here? What are these guys? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's the Geralds. <laughs> It's the little je there he is. There's the man right there. There's Gerald. Look at him. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Here you go. Hey, look, he's so happy. He's so happy. <laughs> Hold on. I want. I want these. I want. I want to mess with these. There you go. Are oh, you want some too? We're feeding all the animals. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? They're awesome! It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Oh, there, there she is. Hi, what, what's up? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. 
You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Poppy's cool. Poppy's a homie. Hold on, Gerald. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the there first. There you go, Gerald. See you later, really? buddy. Well, thank you. I think. Gerald's As gonna I get said, fat. We think alike. Pleasant surprise. I thought I could, like, pick those flowers or something. Where are we going? <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. We're, we're getting baited. Chan, we're getting baited. Don't worry. We're nearly there. It's just ahead. Are we here? Stand back. Hippogriff. Oh, it is. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody So, what did you think of High Wing? Awesome! I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I mean, poachers are dangerous, but I'm not going to tell her that, oh, I wouldn't do it because I would do it. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope.
Yeah, you're pretty cool, Poppy. Oh yeah, level seven, boom! Let's go! We need to get back to our room so we can identify that one item. What is, what is that sound? What is that magical sound? Ugh, game! What is that? Ugh. What is that sound? It's these boys. Well, I've already collected those. You know what we gotta do? Where's the man? He's not here. Where is he? Where is he? They're, none of them are here. I was gonna feed Gerald. Oh man. No Gerald. Okay, so I want to review That's still not quests. I still don't know how to directly get to quests. I still have not figured this out. <clears throat> Dogweed and Deathcap, is that a place in Hogsmeade? Jay Pippins. I'm, I'm so confused about that. Ah, there. We're going there. That's where we're going. Now, that's the, 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 the Neep or whatever. It, it wasn't him. I, I mean, it, it was presented to us in a way that that was like a, a proper noun. So I was like, it's got to be a location, right? A name of something, obviously. Wait, we didn't apply that upgrade to our broomstick. That we bought it. But it is similar to the the plant. The plant, dude. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. No game, please. Oh god, this boundary. Right down here. That was the wrong button. That was the one right next to the one that we needed. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Duh. We're here. Watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. We haven't uh, been in here before. That's why I was uh, confused about the place. They were like, oh, well, you know about this place. And I'm like, no, I don't know about this place. Reparo. Nope. Mm. Revelio. Large tree was just shot off the video. Yep, mm-hmm. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal from you real quick. Yoink. Okay, I would like to peruse your shop, please. Okay, thanks. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some a of bit the of a what? for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. 
Okay, Beatrice. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, I need one of those. Constant demand for antidotes. I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. You done? What do you have for sale? <laughs> Talking well, of a storm. What say we show you some of what's available? Yes, that one. Oh, I'm always that thrilled one. when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. I actually need that too. Doors always open. That was a lot of money. Have to stop by soon. Hogsmeade, okay. Here I come. Now we gotta go back. Ah. Ah. Okay. The struggle is real. Confringo. Tab three. There we go. Now we gotta head back to Hogwarts. We gotta get into uh, the. It's at the astronomy tower, which I don't remember how to get there. But we also can plant our boyo, one of our boyos, have seen at days. our. Wait, can we enter? No, we can't enter from the outside. I don't think we can. We can use our pot in the greenhouse. Professor Garlic's. Oh, uh, I. Oh, that was cool looking. How do we get to the astronomy tower? Inspects. Empty pot. Oh, we need a large plant size to even get that to begin with. Alright, we're planting a mandrake. So it's only it's a one-to-one. -one. Do we wait, do we have mandrakes now? Oh, is the broom upgrade already on? It doesn't, but it doesn't tell us what what the upgrade did. Did it? Did he tell us what the upgrade did? I don't think he did. Did 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 did. All right. Anyway, dude. Map. Astronomy wing. So that's just straight across. We have to cross a bridge, though. You can't imagine how inconvenient. I was destined to be. Uh, we can get there straight across the courtyard here. Dark arts class, it's dad class. Excuse me. 
all the Slytherin hanging out outside the Dark Arts class. This is where our potions class is, I think. Professor Fig's classroom. Lumos. We need you, little guy. I think we go down for this one. There it is. Gotcha. We're cooking. Follow the ghosts. I think we gotta keep going up though. We gotta go all the way up. Room of requirements. The room of requirement, we also have one of those pot things, but we don't have a large pot. We gotta figure out how to unlock a large pot because we need the uh, to get Wingardium Leviosa or for uh, Professor Garlic to teach us that, we need to bring something that we can only grow in a large pot. I don't really know how to make one of those yet. Oh, I guess we can make more potting stations, too. Because we keep collecting more... Potion station... Do that while we wait. Sydney, Mallow, Mandrake... I mean, we do need Mandrake. Oh, I just uh, poofed that picture by accident. Um, we need conjuring spell, altering spell. What is this one? Oh yeah, that's right. We did just learn that one. We're one away. We've only not learned this one. We can make six more. We're gonna make more of these potions, herbology, tombs, and scrolls. Three small pot. No, we need a large one. Medium, large. Tombs and scrolls. Okay, so we gotta head back to Hogsmeade. We'll be doing a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. We went with that one, but we changed the color. Efficiency, man. We're trying to be efficient here. Whatever. We'll just put it over here. We'll put the mandrakes here, and then when we come back and we finish this one, we will switch the mandrake out for Dittany, since we're going to use Dittany plants. Um, Dittany leaves on making more Wigan Weld potions. Sub Deke. Alright, so we're going to leave the astronomy tower. Now we're going to go...
back to the 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 I think it's right as soon as you enter in. Um, what's his name? I can't even remember the shopkeep's name. It's like as soon as you enter in the main gate of Hogsmeade, you turn left right there is uh, the shop that we need to get to. The tomes and something. I feel like we're doing a lot of just kind of uh, preparation on this one. We did that one main quest and now we're just kind of preparing Moving forward. Out the way, thank you. We also need to. I, li I like how the like the loading auto save thing is broken. It's just a white square now. Um, we need to uh, 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 do more Merlin stuff. So next time that we are out and we're planning on staying out, we'll probably just go and bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Why is it a white square? Oh, I can do it from here, right? Oh no, I said no fly zone still. God dang it, Bobby. Um, right out here. Perfect. Okay, so we can get... Okay, that right there. Oh, we could probably do it if we just cross over from our tower. Because that's our tower. Ugh. Why can I not add three? Um, oh, well, this is perfect. I thought I was a little further over than I was. So it should be one of these buildings on the left right here. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. All right. We need to buy some stuff off of you, man. I mean, that would be nice to have too. Chopping station. We need to make some money, guys. Potting table with a large pot. Unlocks the ability to conjure a table with a large pot. Use it. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magic. With two large pots, that's 3k. Well, we can only do one. Um, all right, we're buying that one. Nothing like finding just the right thing. Is there? Thank you so much. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. If it thinks it's got half a chance. And now we're broke. And back we go. I want to do one run, one more run at that uh, trial at the uh, Quidditch field. I think we can beat that time. And we're going to be flying right by it, so let's do it. We at least got to put our goggles on for it, though. You already know. Oh, I crashed. I yeah, put our goggles on. Where's our goggles? Footage goggles. We're going racing. We got to cut almost a whole second off. 
Like, was it 0.88 is how close we are? Wait, what happened? Okay, now we're ready. Oh! Did it! Oh! Oh! How are we so slow? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm zooming, bro. Game, please. Oh my god. We are going to destroy this time. Uh, uh, uh. Made it. Excellent. Dude, I am so not in control at, with how fast I'm going. Uh, 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 we almost missed it. I missed the ring. This is rather fun. So we got to finish by one twenty nine now. Brilliant. Yeah! This is rather fun. Even with the ring miss penalty. That was crazy hard. Okay, that was actually um it was it was easy in the sense that we absolutely destroyed the time, but I was having such a hard time controlling myself. Oh my god. We were cooking. It was the goggles. That was wild. Confringo. Okay. What are these? That fly into this? I have a feeling I fly into it. Woo! I don't know what that did, but we popped it. What is happening? What is that? There you are. The crossbone duel is. Oh, nice! Sick! Okay. I, I, I don't know why he was saying, ah, oh, there you are. Like, he, he was looking for me, but he, had, he wasn't saying nothing to me. Alright, anyway, we gotta get back to the astronomy tower. We gotta go into our room. Um, has it been 10 minutes? It's probably been 10 minutes. That that run alone was a minute 30. We went to Hogsmeade, came back, then did it. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah. We got our Mandrake. Oh yeah, there it is. We gotta plant our big we gotta put the big pot down and then we gotta plant I don't even remember what it's called Ven venom is something that'll prepare us for our class with okay do we can we go to the so we go to the right to get to the astronomy tower faster or to get up there faster Look at us knowing our way around. <sighs> this is tiring, though, I'll tell you what. Boy, can you help me? Later, nerd. 
We, we gotta help out our boy Arthur at some point. Peeves. Leave me alone, Peeves. Oh, yeah. It's gonna chunk our uh, Moonstone resource, though, so we need to uh, collect as much Moonstone as we can when we're out and about. As we start developing the Room of Requirement, we gotta remember to do that. How many of these potions can we have at one time? Alright, uh, we're gonna empty the pot and we're gonna put Ditney leaves in there. What's up, Deke? Large. Large and in charge, baby. Oh, large? I thought large... Oh, these were 30. Got it. We can only put seven down. I actually like this one more. Rotate. Perfect. Is that- is that what enables snapping? And then... Hold disable snapping. Got it. Well, this doesn't seem very snappy, but, you know. Oh, oh, I get it now. Okay, I see. Anyway, we're putting that down. Now we can- we can do anything. Anything. This is what we need, though. Oh, we have those in- in the classroom. Ah, let's make another one of those. Which one did we use? The scientific one? Oops. That way. What are we gonna put in here? Uh, a hardy plant that produces bulbs used in Thunder Brew. Oh, what do we need for... Can we make whatever we need to brew this? Or clump. I don't think we have any of those. We'll do Chinese chomping cabbage. So that way we'll be able to uh, restore our cabbages, you know? The ones that we don't use. I've worked a 20 of those now. Alright, I'll be back later, Deke. Now where are we off to? We, we've got 12 minutes until we go back and we can uh, go and see Professor Garlic for learning Wingardium Leviosa. What can we do in the meantime though?
We have, uh, what, uh, what quest is this that they've got us on right now? I guess the compass would be good if you don't have the minimap on, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean to open that up. Um, the map. No, the quests is what we need. Learn to pulse. Oh, so we got to do this before we can do this one. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade. Number of balloons around that. Uh, wants me to use my broom to pop them. Okay, so. Oh, that's. Oh, we can do that then. That's what we need to do for our uh, ice spell. Troll? I don't know. We gotta find trolls, I guess? But that's what we can do. We can go and um, pop some balloons for about 10, 20 minutes. Ice spell? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that there were any ice spells until yesterday, towards the end. What's this way? Ah. We're gonna go out the, the usual way that we go out. I actually don't know which way is faster. If we go right that way, out the front. Uh, it's probably faster to go right. I always forget about this little hallway. I always think when we turn left here, we uh, end up here. We got some balloons to pop. Boom! Three! Boom! And then we gotta fly out to Hogsmeade. game is amazing looking. I just wish I could figure out the problem that I'm having with my micro stutters. I don't know what's up with that. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, so now where do we... Where do we need to pop these at? Ogsmead Station? Ogsmead Station at? Where is Hogsmeade Station? I mean, it's got to be by Hogsmeade, right? Hogsmeade Valley.
Is it is it not a location on the map? Because we can't fly over Hogsmeade. I mean, I guess we just fly around and see if we see balloons up in the air, you know? Or, better yet, we can follow the train tracks. Every so often I have a genius idea. There's a lot of moonstone here. <laughs> it didn't want us going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy Hope is not on the menu today. Young William. Aha. I see balloons. Oh my god, there's so many right here. That ought to do it. We're gonna pop them all. Boom! Challenge unlocked. Pop balloons. Did that count though? No. I guess it's the ones that is our school color. So these count. Or our uh, house color. So that's three. Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Boom! We need another. What is that? There's something like right where the tip of my broomstick is. What is that? There's something out there. Oh, here we are. Brilliant. And we're done. Don't know what those challenges are going to uh, give us, but uh, they're going to give us something. Can I get these other ones? These are it. Oh, come on. All right, let's check and make sure that those balloons counted, and then we'll be on our merry way. Yeah. Now we get to learn an ice spell, and then we're going to get to learn Wingardium Leviosa. 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 And we're here. Alright, now I have no idea where to find... What's her face? Quests. I always open up the map. I just don't know how to get to quests right away. Oh, she's like right up here.
We need to go this way first. No, we'll do the uh, we'll do the spell first. Where are we going? Why is it taking us out here? Oh, it wanted to take us to the, the staircase out here. How oh. did you get on with those top? This is her classroom? Just, they literally built a room on the end of the map, or the end of the castle, and said, here you go. Work from here. Um, Marvelous News, the joint of the faculty, Hogwarts uh, flying instructor, I just said, uh, okay. Oh, there's another one. A professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch, as you know, I uh, utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined or at least significantly thwarted. As I must defer to the headmaster, she encourages me to practice on my own, and devise some challenging trials for myself, but it's not all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I should be miserable for my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Um, that's the, uh, the mid-tier flying prodigy. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Ice Pay spell time. To your wand work. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I missed that one. Did I get it though? I missed one of the prompts. Well new done. spell. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Um, let me assign a new hold on where are talents i'm taking my talents to a fourth tree boom we're moving those down and then we're gonna do uh, we might okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna basically mimic this one we're gonna move this down as well and then we're gonna like i said we're gonna mimic this oh where'd you come from man yes. there you go catching them quickly Levioso. Confringo. Glacius. I think it's learned its lesson, but do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Wait, how long does he stay frozen? Until it comes back on cooldown. That's crazy. Look at the little footage board she's got. And they're actually playing. Oh, Slytherin scored. Boo! Alright, well now that we've learned that, that's kind of cool. Heads up! Jesus. Oh my god, that goes so far too. We're gonna go to the Rim of Requirement, we're gonna get our stuff, and we're gonna learn Leviosa. We got him, Leviosa. There we go. 
The struggle's real. Uh, we need to go to the right. We can go left and then hook around. Either way works. There's three ways we can get up there. We can go left and then hook across the sky bridge. Or we can go left and go up the staircase there until we have to go across the sky bridge. Uh, or we can just go right and then go straight up. Grab everything that we need here and um, head back down. It's been nighttime for a little while though. It'll be becoming morning time. If not, then uh, I mean, we'll probably have to skip forward in time a little bit. I do like that the night and day cycles aren't like quick, quick. It's always daylight, always golden hour here though. Let's make another one. We're up to 21. Dittany leaves. Oh, perfect timing. Boom! That was right on the mark at 15 minutes. And we can't make any more. We've done what we can. Oh, while we're here, let's not forget to identify our gear. Crimson Mystic Ensemble. Ensemble. Is it this? Okay, let's take this off. That's what we got. Increased damage of all damage spells, but it takes our defense down four points. Which I think is okay if we have increased damage on top. I think that works. I mean, it looks slick, you know? You know, you feel? But now we're going to start getting to the point, though, where it's kind of like... We gotta start deciding on some stuff, like, do we keep this, or do we, you know? Okay, we're, we're, we're kind of getting there a little bit. Challenges. Exploration. Broom Appearance Reward. Night Dancer Broom. Increased storage for gear. Okay, well, what did, what did we go up to? 20 to 24. So not a lot. Uh, we've claimed those. Now we've got combat ones. We've claimed that. Oh, nice! What is this one? Officer's uniform? No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to take us all the way out. Um, okay. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we just got. Okay, we got this one, officer's uniform. Hold on, we, I always forget to take this off. We gotta take this off. Oh, well, we've got this too as well. Oh, we're pimping! <laughs> Chief prankster coat. Oh, we've got this one too. Nice! So that's that's what we got there. Where's the, where's the helmet? Is, is it headwear? Yeah, it is. 
Nice. Look at us. We're pimping. Oh. It's still got our blue on the front. It doesn't have the back, but I like that it's the it's it's the broom itself, the broom head is a lot cleaner looking. Nice. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. And then we've got that one now too. Okay, we're getting some uh, fancy stuff. That that definitely doesn't match though, but. All right. I wish we could just kind of quick clear them, but we can't. Those are the extra pages that we got there. All right, we've pretty much cleared everything now. Time to head on out. Let's learn uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa, not Leviosa. Did I replace my fire spell or did I replace my uh disarm spell? Expelliarmus, I think is what it's called. I switch out the wrong one. I I don't know what made me think of that, but I'm like Did I replace the right one? Expelliarmus. I like being able to disarm the enemy. Like, especially when you're fighting those knights and you get the small ones, like the adds, you just... Spelliamus, boom! Knocks it right out of their hand and then you can deal with the big guys. Daylight is approaching, so it's perfect timing. We're not going to have to wait. God, it's such a maze sometimes. There's always like an extra turn or an extra loop or something that I always forget about. We're killing it with classes today. Handy resource indeed. Yoink. Wait, am I not done? Hold hold the front door. Quests. Uh oh, we have to use it. I would assume using it on uh, an enemy of some sort. <laughs> ah! Didn't mean to do that. We've only got one of those. We got four of these boyos. And we're cooking up more. Reckon they have a nice view from up there. Alright, where are we gonna go? Forbidden Forest, maybe? A lot of places we could go.
How far in can we go in here? Oh, we can just go in here. Oh, perfect. Right here. Oh, what do we have here? Yoink! We're gonna sneak in and BAM! They're gonna be like, oh my god! What's up? BOOM! My... My ears... Assignment tool finished. Ow! It isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little gun. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm afraid to take a hit. You're not going to like this. Ah. No. Oh, my plant got him. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Clap. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. We are lagging up a storm today, guys. Now that we've done that, <laughs> I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Oh my god, we're lagging, man. I might have to restart my game simply because uh, I think we've got some sort of. Places. Issue. Levioso. Oh! Ow! Got it. Uh, with how the loading or autosave thing is, where it pops up and it doesn't actually give us the icon and it's white, I think that we might have some sort of critical error going on with that game, which I think may be why we're lagging a little bit more than we normally do. Um, tab three. It's such a weird button combination. I don't even know what that is. Animagus? Animagus? Cabbages. Oh, the wolf guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. That's such a sharp turn. Grow could be so interesting. Nice, good class, good job, oh, guys. Wonderful to see you again. It's time. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. 
When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. I missed that one. What was that? Right click instead of left click? We got it though. Oh, excuse me? Control its position with your movement and use F, V, F, V, Q, and E to fine tune its distance and rotation? What a weird set of keys. Q and E makes sense, but F and V? Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Yeah! Uh, F. Oh, Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Sure, I guess we'll learn a little bit. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. But terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember... Be kind to your Wigan trees. Oh, we got XP for that. Nice. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. Q rotates. E rotates the other way. F is back. And V is towards us. How much time we got left? Oh, perfect timing on that. Revelio. Extra man, Drake. So I would assume now we could probably get to places that we couldn't get to before by stacking things up or... Wait a second. What was that? Oh, nice! Come in here. There is! What are you? Maxima Potion. I don't know what that is. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Alright. I think we're gonna save and we're gonna restart our game now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh... Settings. Save game.
and then we're going to exit. We're going to do a restart. Simply because I know that we've got a, an error of some sort somewhere. I wait for it to sink. I think. Ah, here it goes. All right, we're launching. Back at it. Oh, we got to prepare shaders again. Oh, man, I always forget about that. Ugh. Ugh. I'm almost out of water. We got, we still got like three hours left. We got plenty of time. I think that water will hold. I need to charge my watch. Do that now. So, earlier we had a prompt that said four of eight main quests done. That makes me wonder if that were 50% of the way complete on the main story. Which would, in theory, mean that we're 50% of the way done. But I'm interested in all the side quests and everything like that, so we're we're not even close. So, we have color-oriented um, spells. The backgrounds of the spell icons. We've got that light blue, which I think seem to be like utility spells. We have that off-green color, which I think is Room of Requirement spells. The ones that are like forbidden everywhere else. We have red spells, 
which I assume are damage spells, except Expelliarmus. I mean, it's that's a it's like a neutralizing spell, right? Like you knock somebody's wand or their weapon out of their hand. That's not a damaging spell, right? Purple, I really don't understand the difference between purple and yellow spells. Okay, um, what what are we what were we, we doing? I don't remember what we were trying to do. We had finished the the two quests that we were originally attempting to do. These are our side quests here. Oh, this is the lock picking spell we'll have. We don't we don't have to do Depulso just yet. But we do we do need to do it, but not just not yet. Okay, um, I guess we'll do, uh, we'll just do the main story quest. Why not? Let's do it. Yo, what's up, man? It's raining on you, in case you didn't know. Revelio. Confringo. Oh. Or it's numbered. Ah. Wait a second. Four. Two, three, four. Two. Confringo. Watch out. Do we need the, the triangle? With the crosshair in the middle, and then the one with the crosshair at the bottom. <laughs> uh, one, and then three is the one at the bottom. This one's three. Oh! And the other one was already done! What was that? Where did that do the unlock thing? Here? Oh, we're going in. Oh, we got a purple hand grip wand thingy. Revelio. Okay. Oh, we got a big boy. What's in there? Unidentified head. Oh, that was English. Unidentified head item. That was cool. What is he doing? What are you doing? Are you guys bullying this guy? Or is he trying to, trying to walk up the side of a building? I believe. Yes, you've got it. Lean forward. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, nice. <laughs> he's killing it. All 
Alright, what else we got? We 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 are never over here, so. Revelio. Is this not a Okay? Figured that would have uh, told us something. Lumos. Where is that? Little dragon statue thingy. This is cool out here. Oh, it takes us down there. Okay. We haven't been down there yet. What's even over here? Oh. Pull a rabbit out. Oh. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Flippendo? That's a cool tasks, one. Come and find me in the greenhouse. Why does Professor Garlic have all the cool spells? Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? No, I don't. <laughs> We'll get back to him. Oh, is this the points chamber? Well, it seems to be pretty even if I'm being honest. Always frown. Peeves just burn the castle down. I got time for your crap peeves. I mean, I do, but I don't. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Dude, nothing works on these on, on that guy, I swear. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Nothing works on that. Oh, is this the central staircase? So we can get here from our tower. Faculty, faculty tower. I don't think so, actually. Now that I think about it, or maybe so. I can this this isn't our tower. Get away from me, peeves. Wherever you are. What? Where am I? Red handle. Revelio. Whoa! What? Does it change every time you go in? Was it there? Was that where I just came out of? What is this room? Yeah, that was where I was at. What the heck? That was wild. Oh, we've been over here before. Yeah, we've cut through here. We set this map on fire one time. <laughs> No, we don't need to go up there. Oh, chest. Sorry, I, I get lost just exploring sometimes. Oh, hey, we killed enough time. What's up, dude? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit, uh, 
unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. humoring me for a moment see if you can remove the moon from the statue why did that blow out the audio though oh, odd little contraptions aren't they it seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed which incidentally can only be done at night uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and i'll explain more as we walk uh, ever since okay. that fateful day in the village those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day Accio. in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face in a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguys. A demiguys? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see Revelio. Holy unnerving. I encountered Korea. Terrible experience. I'm paying attention. Uh, those statues are demigodesses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring like myself to go near them. In fact, I know two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. What's in it for me? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Thank God he's done talking. I was over it. Now we can get into rooms. Which one is it? Oh! We don't even need to add it to anything. Cool. Okay. Um, boom. Aloha, Mora. 
Wait, CUNY and AND. To move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. What? don't understand I get that I'm rotating and spinning but the green one rotates this thing in the bottom right and the red one rotates what's in the middle but it's such small increments that both corresponding gears are activated Do you understand? I, do, I don't get this at all. I do not understand this. Both are shaped the same way. Okay. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Weird. Not explained Hello, very well, in my opinion. But I understand it now. When it clicks... Oh. You gotta... F it's like finding the sweet spot. Like so. Don't worry, I eventually got there. Dear Mirabel, uh, my dear daughter's been asking for you for sure to put a your shoes. Yep, uh, when did you manage to come by? Yep, part of your plans. The uh, one's okay. Woo! <coughs> 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 I'm good. I can't spin that one. Wait, is there a back room? Awful puff. We're thieving. Nobody here. We'll do it when we're out and about here, but... Is this one? Oh, Professor Fig. I am in receipt of your message. Uh, apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal. Corresponding regarding the introduction, not so secret. Penalty and Quidditch, which is my humble opinion, has brought the game into a modern age. Science figures, fixes, Quidditch flattening. It's flattened entirely. Okay. Um, as to your recent letter, the minister was a kind, took it seriously. I made note of your concerns, and his Department of Magical Law Enforcement to look into scheduled permitting. Okay. That's cool. I want to see what it does now that the page is done. Oh, flips it over. Going again. Chest. Yoink. 
Level two lock. <laughs> Passing Revelio reveals authority figures in enemy locations allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. Um, I don't have Revelio. Oh, no, I do. Revelio. It's its own thing. Reminder to staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected statue of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. Uh, the... The what? Cacophony? One poor elf in the blue smoke and giving a... a, a ringing the ears. Okay. So, Peeves was messing with a... Elf, as it seems. Yoink. Hello, Hamora. Am I detected while doing this? Oh my god, that one is right on already. Got it. We're in. Ravenclaw, yeah, man. We're a, we're a, a bookworm. Uh, gobstones. Creatures that says study window. They're quite charming. I'm gonna stand to us without our own set of gobstones. So I sent her one of yours. I know you wouldn't mind. Excuse me. My gobstones. Where, where's, where's the leprechaun? Yoink. Revelio. Can I sneak over here? Oh. I thought that was a, a like a locked thing. It's for the door though. Revelio. Oh, there's two. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. Yes. It's still early. That's early. You say that every year, Matilda. I can't. She looked right at me. I wonder if that room was locked. Wait, why, why would I be shamed for being a Ravenclaw? We're just nerds. That, what trickery are you up to? Where did you come from, you nerd? I got busted. I swear he wasn't there. That's the first time we failed a quest. Thankfully, it was one uh, that did not have our life on the line. I.e. a battle quest. We're just going to get in trouble. In trouble because the, the, the janitor, the janitor of all people, is scared to walk the halls at night. So we got to do it for him. Like, what is that nonsense? That surprises me, though, Chris, that you're, like, anti-Ravenclaw. Considering your personality type. Repairer. Oh, that's not it. Oop. Too many casts. I figure you would be... Type A Ravenclaw.
Oh, they're gone. Revenue. Yoink. Jewel encrusted tortoise shell. It's Jack. Jack's home. Ah, uh, that makes sense. What is it with Slytherin people and hating Ravenclaw? Slytherin people hate Ravenclaw, I've noticed. Like, are, are Ravenclaw, or are Slytherin people, like, intimidated by the knowledge seekers? Like, I don't understand. Revelio. Oh my god. He turned around and he was like, yeah, who's that? I swear, everybody that I've met that's been a Slytherin is just like, has this disdain for Alohomora. Ravenclaw. And it, it makes no sense to me. Well, how the heck am I to get to that? Akio. Ah, like so. I mean, we might as well go exploring. We're in the restricted section. It, it, well, it's restricted at night, at least. Wow, that actually worked. I can't believe that worked. You literally saw where it came from. It's our favorite professor. Revelio. Unicorn Fountain. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. It's well, our two favorite professors, I actually. My rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but oh, we snuck terrible. in. We bet. Really oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. For Hufflepuff, I was finally going to learn the Quidditch oh. rules. No, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God dang it, Bobby! Ravenclaw's a house that enjoys knowledge seeking for knowledge seeking sake. But Slytherin likes knowledge as well, but we seek to use it for stuff. I don't know. I mean, I guess me personally as a Ravenclaw, I don't do knowledge seeking just for the sake of knowledge seeking. Like, I like knowledge seeking for the use of, of knowledge. Like, to be able to use said knowledge, you know, in the world. I feel like the, the difference between the, the, the knowledge seeking of Ravenclaw versus the knowledge seeking of Slytherin is that Slytherins use it to their advantage in a way to get ahead of everybody else, whereas Ravenclaw's 
we, they don't necessarily abuse the knowledge that they have to get ahead in life. I think that's what separates the two houses. Rather than Ravenclaw's using it for no purpose and just trying to absorb as much knowledge as possible. Um, we need to go... You go, you go over there. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Alright, well we got one of the things that we needed. I, I will say that uh, I have noticed though that people people take like the houses and the the sorting of the houses like how astrology people you mother like how astrology people are with their signs and all that stuff like some people are so like fixated it's like this and this and there is no in-betweens and it's it's kind of scary I'm not gonna lie some people are really scary with how they're, uh, how strongly planted they are in the, the, the sorting. Uh, yeah, I, personally, I think Ravenclaws and Gryffindors are the closest to houses in terms of similarities. I feel like Hufflepuffs are kind of similar to Gryffindor, and then I feel like Slytherins are kind of similar to Ravenclaw. And Ravenclaw, I feel like Ravenclaw is more similar to Gryffindor. Slytherin's more similar to Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff's more similar to Gryffindor. I think that I think that that's how I perceive it, at least. Space racism and magical school racism. Yeah, I feel like those two are very similar. Yeah. Like, you don't make an astrology girl mad about her her signs and things like that. Rip your head off. I've noticed people that are, like, super fixated on, like, the, the houses and stuff like that will also do the same thing. I'm not saying that's what Chris was doing. I'm just saying there was somebody that I know that was very, like, adamant about how they... This must be the prefect's bathroom. Like, what they knew as the houses. And I was like, dang, it ain't that deep. What is this dude? Why are these students allowed in here? Alohomora. There we go. They <laughs> just get so annoying sometimes, yeah. Usually people that know anything about the astrology stuff though, they're the like the extremists, you know. You that's usually how it goes. Alright, now we gotta get out. Oh, what is this? Are they both leaving? We're going up. Cause why not? How nice to see you, my young friend. I suppose, Professor Flagler. Oh. It's just the way to the hospital. Got it. I just took the long route. I had plans to get a few galleons on Hufflepuff. I think Slytherin has been the most popular house. I would like to see a statistic of each of the houses. I would like to see that. Like who's what house? I hear Professor Garlic. Oh, didn't mean to do that. 
All right, sir. Hello, We're Mr. Back. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous care. I'll be honest. But Don't care. I am Do not care. I'm over it. I'm glad to help. Yep. Yep. Now see, see, bye. Yep, okay, Understood. you want me to clear them, I got it, yep, mm-hmm, yep, you're scared of statues, got it. Okay, that was, uh... I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. I, I don't care. <laughs> I simply don't care who's behind putting your little statues. We'll go down, why not? But yeah, I, I would love to see like a, a stat that tells us who is in what house, Hand you know, like percentage-wise. Your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. We got another door, another secret door. Where's this going to? You know, I have not come across the other house's common rooms yet. I haven't really gone looking for them yet. What did I just do? Revelio. Pear portrait. If one tickles the pear uh, in this still life painting for a, of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the Hogwarts kitchen. This is the kitchen. Oh, hey, hey guys. Hey, what's up? Where, where, where are you going? Oh my god! There's so hello, much hello. in here! Well yeah, you gotta know how to how to access the common rooms. Which Billy as a Ravenclaw knows how to access his common room, but he doesn't know how to access the other rooms. So yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd imagine that I wouldn't be able to, but... I think the only one that is actually hidden hidden, I think, is the Slytherin one, right? Oh, that blue handle looks kind of sick. I really like the handle that I have currently. Revelio. Living quarters. These are houses? They live in a barrel? Listen. House elves are literally the size of these barrels. How do they live in them? Revelio. Kitchen tables. Place for food on these tables. Magically transferred to the tables in the great hall directly above. Nice. It's cool. Like, this is day three and we're coming across stuff that we've yet to see. Can I go up here? No, I cannot. All right, I'll get out of you guys' way. I'm sorry. Just exploring. Folks are already working on a multiplayer mod. I, so do you, have you been keeping up with the mod stuff? Um, I was saying, what was it? Was it the first day that we played? That I hope that the modding community can get a hold of this game and really, like, change some stuff. Because it's got the infrastructure for multiplayer. It really does. And I would love to sit down and play this with some people. Whether we have to be tethered or not, it wouldn't really matter too much to me. You know, because some games have a tethered multiplayer where you can't really go too far away from each other. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. 
Revelio. Revelios. Oh, we're back here. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess we need to decide what we're going to do next. I kind of pressed two keys there. I didn't mean to. Let's take a look at our gear. Can we upgrade? Yep. Young Billy. I, see, I really love this grip. But I... You see that one, like, cool design, but it's uh, just like this one. It just doesn't do it for me, man. We've recently obtained that one and that one. That's cool. I like that one. But we're going to stick with this one. If we're going to have any handle on it at all, we're sticking with this one. Uh, We got to identify that one. This one's better than what we got on. We're not high enough level for that one. Well, it would be a co-op multiplayer sense, not multiplayer as in like PvP. I would imagine it would be a co-op adventure. Question is when? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, for the 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 real reason that I uh, opened this up, quests. Grow and harvest flux weed. Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Cabbage. We don't have the other plant, the, 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 the clamp one, and, uh, the screaming guy. I forget, I forget what that's called. Um, so we need to go to the, uh, we need to do Depulso, so we need to do this one. And then we need to go to our room. J. Pippins. Maximum, we have Maxima. I don't think we have Endurus. And we don't have focus. So we gotta go to Hogsmeade. Levioso. Yeah, when I think MMO for this game, I think more co-op story rather than, uh, like... MMO large scale PvP. Like, I think it'd be super sick to have your own Ron, Hermione, and Harry, where you're like a, a duo and trio, and you just kind of go through the wizarding world together, learning stuff. Underground heart. We want to do that? Nah. We'll come back and do that later. If we find ourselves back over here. This is the first time we've been over here. I think a lot of people are wanting some form of Quidditch, though. There's our tower. I'm trying to remember how to get back this way we can get there from our tower i think i think this is the correct side yes it is it is Chris, have you been playing this game? I, I would assume that you have. 
with your knowledge of the wizarding world? Excuse me, out the way. Room of requirement. I gotta spend some time one of these days off stream and just uh, expanding this room, working on this room, making it look nice so it's not so basic. Dittany, we needed those. Gear identify. Okay, we got a hat and we got a scarf. We needed another one of those. Mandrake, yep. Those are all three combat plants right there. Uh, gear. Up seven and increased damage from ancient magic. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put that on. That looks fire, too, because it's it's towards the front. I like that. I like that. So we could definitely wear that during the winter seasons. I like that one. See, this is the one that we had before. And then this one. I like this one, I think, more. Oh, what is that on the front? And then what was the other thing? It was a hat, wasn't it? This one? Plus four defense uh, decreases damage taken from dark mongrels. That hat looks ridiculous. So we're going to put on the helmet, obviously. There's Everybody knows that one person that always likes to hide their character's face. That would be the one for them. Oh, yeah, I feel like there would definitely be some sort of dueling thing. Uh, they do have uh, already uh, uh, the concept of like a dueling class. It's kind of like a frowned upon thing, but it is a thing. Yeah, so I'd, I'd imagine that uh, people would be looking for that in their multiplayer as well. Oh, you can play it on PS5? I think the game looks good on all the platforms so far. This has been a great release, honestly. It really has. They've done very, very, very well with this game. Okay, so now we gotta get into combat. We gotta use all three of the plants that we just obtained. I had everybody before the game came out, I had everybody that was interested in take the test so they could get placed in their house and then when they linked it, they would already have their house sorted. Alright, now we gotta fly out to Hogsmeade. I will say though, so far with this game, I, there's not a lot, I don't have a lot of complaints. Um, I do have some, um, performance issues, and I know I shouldn't. But I don't, I don't necessarily know what's up with that, I don't know if I can blame the game or not. I need to do a little bit more homework and research on that, but um, other than that, man, I don't know. It plays well. I've had a great time with this game. Revelio. Levioso. Yoink.
Like, they've got s such simple things in the game, like the having multiple characters thing. Like, why is that just not already a thing in literally every game? You know what I mean? Like, any game that's like this, Red Dead Redemption 2, one character. Like, are you serious? One character? That game, before they abandoned the game, you already didn't have a lot of content, so why wouldn't you want people making multiple characters? Um, the customization of your character, uh, if you go to where I'm going right now, Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade literally allows you to completely customize your character, like their face and their hair and the color of their hair and all that. So you could literally change if you didn't like how you made your character. You know, it's little things like that that really ups the level of games. And games don't do that stuff anymore. And this game has hit those little, those little things. Like, you know, like you just, you see, I'm sure right now, like some of the micro stuttering that I get, like I can deal with that as a, as a player, I can deal with that. I hope you guys can deal with that as well. Cause that's at the end of it, unless it's happening in the middle of combat, more cozy than Hogsmeade. it literally doesn't matter. Oh, falls here. Oh, look at this. This is the dynamic season changes that they were talking about. Oh, well, how cool is this? But it's like little things You're like that that really nice take see you again. games to another level that I feel like a lot of maybe devs don't necessarily have the choice to... That item is of the highest quality. Is this a new one? Wait, why can I repurchase the house broom? Anyway, I was just looking to see if you had more stuff for sale. Um, but like, Thanks it's little things like that that old I'll games used to game. have that newer games have, have don't have. And like I said, I don't know if it's because the devs are on such a crunch time that they can't implement stuff like that, or what what's the case with that. But we need to go to Jay Pippins, which I think is over here. In the market for potions, are we? Leather and crow. Your Patronus is a crow? What does that mean? Phoenix core wand. I got a Phoenix core wand as well. Dragon Heart Strength produces more powerful. Yeah, Phoenix is more consistent, though. What can I do for you today? Invisibility Potion, Thunder Brew, Focus. I need a Focus, I think. Oh, I can get five of those for 50. I need both of these, I think. A wise decision. Thank you. I need almost 900. And then we're gonna... Okay, so we need to make some gold. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. You just got it. Yeah, I I got a my Patronus is a husky. Um We need to go up this way. Through here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to learn my way around Hogsmeade. And if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. <laughs> this guy, man. All right. Uh, it seems like he's got stuff every time we come in here. Uh, sell. 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 Everything. 
that we have, except for this, and we were not a high enough level for that. Uh, we needed how, how much do we need? Thirteen hundred. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. One never knows when society will be thrown into the midst of unrest. Whoa! What is this? What is this? It looks like a giant bird cage. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, level one Hello, locks. Boy. Are we going to get in trouble for this? Pet store? Oh, it could be. What do we have here? A demigod. Oh, it's one of those guys. It's gotta be nighttime for Rebellion. us to be able to do anything with that. I don't need that. Oh, I need that. We need money. This literally is somebody's house. Did you see the bag though? There's a bag. Revelio. Is it outside? It might be outside. Out we go. Oh yeah, right here. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, homeboy's putting on a performance. Ah, game. You. Your generosity helped me afford this rather exotic snake contraption. Very Salazar, isn't it? I could use some there you go. I tipped him last time, and apparently he got this. Akio. It's highlighted. Why is it highlighted? Confringo. Nope. Glacius. Nope. Level two lock. Wingardium Leviosa. Nope. Alright. Um, well, since we don't have enough money, we need to acquire and use a focus potion. Okay. Let me go back to J. Pippins. Which is through here. It's the purple shop over here. So, we, we've got... The maxima we have a maxima potion, but we now have the maxima potion recipe. We need a focus potion. We have everything a young student and Ederus, Ederus. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? Okay, so we can get the focus potion recipe now. Oh, these. I think we can already make those. Okay, okay. So we got just enough. A wise decision. Okay, now we're broke, Thank broke. You. Chop the candy store. I'm broke. I'm broke. I am enjoying this game so much, too, that if they have, like, a, a, a multiplayer mod... What do we have here? I will gladly... Come in with whoever's new, you know, like, and is playing for the first time or whatever, and come in with them and just run around and do stuff. Oh, it'd be so much fun. I'm about to try to get unbroke. What we about to do, man? You're gonna love this game though, Chris. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. 
Yeah, you know, I only get a little nervous for people that are like um, super fans of stuff when a game comes out because I feel like they're so critical of things because they are a super fan. Like I love the Wizarding World, but I wouldn't say that I'm a super fan, so I don't know all of the intricacies of everything, which allows me to kind of have a little bit more of a unbiased mind. I'm trying to think, my what? What am I trying to do right now? I'm trying to brew potions, and we're trying to make money. Um. Can we sell some of the potions that we have? Because I have 24 Wiganweld potions. But anyway, I, I get a little concerned for, for those people. Like, I would be worried about maybe Tony playing this game and not being able to enjoy it as much. Last week, I performed... We're going to our room and we're going to start trying to brew some potions or see what it takes to brew some potions. And if we can't, then we go to the Forbidden Forest and we use our little plants and stuff like that and try to uh, get the next spell that our professor... Garlic is going to teach us, which I can't remember what it's called. I'm trying to remember everything. I'm trying to, like, you know, make everything stick. I like doing that with games. The less I have to use... Is that Natty? I think that, that is Natty. The less I have to use menus and HUDs and guides and stuff like that, I the more I love it. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Some people are super, super, like, they know everything about it. In we go. Yeah, I'm as much of a fan as, as growing up with the story. And, uh, you know, seeing the entire story unfold from the books to the big screen and all that, and going and watching them on their release and stuff like that, but I I am no super fan myself. There's a lot of things that I don't know. There are a lot of things that I recognize, you know, like immediately as soon as I see stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same way. I, I'm not even close to super, super fan. Okay, so this room breaks. I see. Wow. Right on. Perfect timing. All right, let's see what we can do potion-wise. Ashwinder eggs. We need to make one of those. So how do we get Ashwinder eggs? So it takes a minute for one of those. Fluxweed stem. Uh, we'll chill here while we wait for that. Uh, I think we've got... Nothing oh. to identify. I thought we For had an identi least. unidentified gear. I thought we had picked up something. We haven't even touched this room yet. And now we wait. Dude, I don't even remember. When was the last time we had a Harry Potter game? Was it like 2004? There had to have been something in between that game and this one, right? Alright, focus potion done. Ashwinder eggs. How do we get those? I would assume that we could buy those.
So we just need one of these. Oh, it tells you the recipe? Just right here it tells you the recipe. That's cool. Oh, the Lego Harry Potter games. Yeah, I guess those. I don't really count those, though. I was having a conversation with somebody about the EA games recently. What a, uh, what a downfall, huh? Their games have gone so backwards. See ya, Deke. Stop making a mess on my floor. How about that? Ashwinder eggs. Where would I get those? Oh, the left side of my projector, the left corner failed us. I said it. Was, I said one of them, one of the corners was gonna go down today. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. Alright, we're gonna go into the forbidden forest. We'll do some combat. We're gonna use each one of these. We're just going to throw one right after the other. Bang, bang, bang. Sebastian, get out the way. All the way down. Is there a way out here? I don't think there is. We can fly here? Oh, sick, dude. Uh, this way. That'll save us so much time. Oh god, we're cooking. We're cooking. Hmm. We need some enemies. There we go. Spotted. Come after me. I'll stick him like a dog tail. I get the drop on him. Hit him with the uh Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. The old screech boy. <gasps> Boom! Gotta make my hit. And then up uh, uh, my game. You're is dying. Oh my god. Uh, that was bad. Uh, oh. Annoying little weed. Back to I'm not even going to need to touch that guy. Yep. Clapped. Look at my cabbages. Look at him go. Boom. Boom. Didn't even have to touch him. Dude, that was bad, though. That lag was terrible. Was I supposed to do that? I still need those eggs, though. And I don't know where to get them.
Ashwinder eggs. I'm trying to remember. This was the first potion that was introduced to us. So we had to have... We had to have known where to get them. And I don't remember. I was kind of hoping that was going to be money, to be honest. Kind of collect as much stuff as I can now that I'm starting to, you know, do some brewery and stuff like that. Let's go a little bit deeper into the Forbidden Forest than we normally do. EA has made so many masterpieces over the years and uh, it's kind of like what I was talking about before with like this game and how it's done some very simple things like like the the gear system right new world didn't even have this new world an MMO didn't even have it right this I'm wearing ornate ebony gloves right they look like this but that's not what I'm wearing, right? That's what I'm wearing for my gear. But all of these I have come across at some point in the game. All of them. So, whether I put them on or not, I can just wear them. Just because, you know? And I'm still wearing my gear item, but visually I'm not. Like, I just I don't understand. Like, that is one of the simple things that this game has done right. That so many games have forgotten like it's so good and then like i mentioned earlier the the saves thing the the multiple characters and all that okay so that's our active now we just gotta go back to professor garlic and we get flipendo which is going to be a useful one for us um, but this, to continue the story, we got to figure out where to get... <sighs> Tools. This. Can I... Ashwinder eggs. Enemies, wand handles, crates, ingredients. Here. Pots and such. Uh, one clutch of these, uh, yep. Some dying embers of magical fires. Usually found in dwellings. Some seem to have risen from abandoned campfires. And left clutches of eggs in nearby rocky areas. So we need to find some rocky areas. Do we do we go adventuring and exploring? Because we're in a forest. This isn't rocky terrain. This place has seen better days. Revelio. Enjoy this. Uh oh. Selling shear isn't worth the time. No amount of spoils is worth that many spiders. I know you're there. Quit taking it! Levioso. Oh, got them both. Uh, Akio. Glacius. Uh, uh, Dive. Clap him real quick. Uh, say. Uh, Expelliarmus. Oh, forever. Levioso. Glacius! I kind of botched the uh, my combos up a little bit there, but... Confringo! Ugh. 
Those were... Rebellion. Guys of what I was looking for, so I was kind of hoping I was maybe a little onto something. Good finger. Is there one more of those? Why am I lighting those? What are Rebellion. you? I guess just a box, huh? A lot of good over. <laughs> Levioso. Why? Why not? <laughs> Away you go. Don't run me over, please. We've been down that way before. Manners are important, though, aren't they? Even in a fight. Oh my God! Should we do that? Should we fight that? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. It's a Merlin thing. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, we got a puzzle. Revelio. Is it just the one? Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. Um. I can't move it. I can move it up, and I can move it down, but I can't. You can see it trying to turn, but it won't turn. See? It kinda. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Huh. Lumos. There are these symbols on it, but I don't know what to match the symbols to. Oh, there's another one. Okay. okay, well right We got we got a little bit of combat we're gonna have to do. What was that sound? How did I get mixed up in this? Do What's up, brother? Work for him. I've seen your match, and I'm not afraid of it. Or of you. Oh, I guess we're Oh! Oh, killed that guy. Come here! I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Nobody will believe me. We need all the moonstone we can get our hands on. The bird cage here. Oh, it's a level one lock. Oh, there's a rabbit in here. We gotta free the bunny. Little bunny. A well placed. Avra Kadavra would fix that puzzle. Uh, you know, something tells me maybe not, but you know, you never know. Okay, so we got another one of these stones. So we've got at least. Oh, there's another one in the. Okay. There. Yep. Yeah, come back. There we go. We got another one in the lake here. Revelio. So we've got at least three of these stones with these symbols on them. Excuse you.
But there's got to be something that gives us... Oh, what is that? There's got to be something that gives us a reference, right? It's nothing on that. Um... Hmm, this is a good one. Oh, the fire. Lumos. There's one. No? Okay, are they all the same? They're all the same. What if I... Glacius. That didn't do anything. Confringo. Akio. Levioso. I'm stumped on this one. I don't know. I don't even know where to begin because I can't. I can't even rotate them. Um, no, I don't believe so. I don't believe I do. I think that's one of the ones that I'm, uh... Going to be learning. Who are these guys? Who are you? Oh, I thought those were people. Where are you guys going? Why are we running this way? I'm not chasing you guys, we're just going the same way, I promise. We're kind of just on a little bit of an adventure uh, with no real end goal um, other than those Ashwinder eggs. I wonder up here if can we go up here? I could probably buy them, but I want to know where to get them from. Revelio. Whoa, look at all the moonstone. Whoa, that's cool. It gives us all the map stuff. Wow, that's so cool. That better be big chunks of moonstone. That's it. These are big ones. Three. Uh, I mean, we've never really been out this far, so we're gonna keep going. What was that? Oh. My broom's just making weird noises. We've been out this way once before. Specifically this way.
Yeah, is this game canon? Or would they be able to break certain things? Wait, have we been to this tower? I don't think we have, actually. I think I lied. This kind of reminds me of the Weasley house a little bit. Yoink. Wait, is there another one? Oh, there is. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> What's down there? There's a couple of buildings. Heck you balloons! I missed that one. There's a flu flame down there. Could it be a murder trial? It's yeah, like it. <laughs> what have you done? Um, who are you? <laughs> what do you, what do you sell? Do you have a moment? Yes, but just the one, I'm afraid. Uh, running the shop keeps me rather busy. Uh, I'm the new proprietor, Indira Wolf. Um, what do you have for sale? What are you selling? Do you know what you might be looking for? I do, and it doesn't look look like you have anything that I need. Thank you for your business. Hope you'll come and see me again. Why are you so angry, man? Why are you so angry, man? <laughs> I want the flu flame. On another adventure, are we? Oh, we're gonna hello, break hello. and enter, baby. Uh, another wand handle? Revelio. Excuse me, I hope nobody's home. Nothing. My God. Stop that. Expelliarmus. Accio. Stop that. Confringo. Levioso. Stop that. How nice to see you, my young friend. He was hunting me down. Game is not canon. Okay. That means Professor Fig, Professor Garlic don't exist. Butterflies. Set them on fire. <laughs> Butterflies. Look at them all. Look at all the butterflies. 
going on down here? Excuse me? Hello? What's that? Don't mind if I just leave. Don't mind if I do. The butterflies are leaving without me. We're out here chasing butterflies. Oh, we need some of these. Why is there a flu flame at this random house? Oh, it's in. It's inside. Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh. Hey, guys. Revelio. That was a big mommy spider. Big mommy. Thing worth learning from civilized society. Except that's a lie. Surprising how many nipples you can find down there. Mind you, I do have a knack. Levioso. What's up? Glacius. Let's talk of what you can You'll need to be quicker than that. Levioso. Incendio! Oh, you tried. Place that. Uh. Oh, nice. Your best defensive maneuver was Incendio! Ow! It's actually quite good. Brinko! Levioso. Reductor. Nice try. Expelliarm. Gotcha. Levioso. Yeah, you kind of need that, don't you? Akio. Oh. What? Did the I knock her off or something? Days are over. I can't. I can't attack. Something I did to her did a lot of damage. There we go. Used a little bit of that. I can't wait for somebody to use Expelliarmus against me and it connect, and I'm like, ah! Oh. It's cool to see them using some of the the spells that we commonly know, though. You can make it. Ugh. Dude, I could totally see people watching me play this, like down the road, and being like, oh my god, you stupid I idiot. Works at Green Guts. Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Levioso. Little moon calf. Half places. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Places. Expelliarmus. Easily diverted. Woo! That's not quick enough. <laughs> That's you. Whoa! Expelliarmus. Whoa! They almost got me a couple times. He said, you're not quick enough as he misses. We're getting a lot of Moonstone, though. I'll tell you what. We are collecting us some Moonstone. Things too? What is that? This is the first time we've really like explored. We're kind of just out and about doing our thing. I like, I'll tell you what, I really like having uh, like this utility spell. Levioso. 
Accio. Glacius. Levioso. Oh! Glacius. Like, being able to freeze it like that, you know? It's so Levioso. useful. It's just so useful. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Like, I, I like it so much more than... What, what's the flame spell that I use? This Confringo. one. Confringo. Confringo. That one. I like it so much more. Because I've got Expelliarmus, which is the disarm spell. And then I've got two movement spells. What is this? Extreme danger... What? With fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Oh. What about this one? Yeah, I didn't think so. Good finger. Let me also. Huh. Oh, we need these. Confringo. Levioso. Accio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Chaining them together, Levioso. baby. Accio. Expelliarmus. Boom. Ancient magic trumps all. That's cool. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Yeah, another Merlin trial. Hmm, new enemy. That's kind of cool. Zombies, basically. Yeah. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep uh, honing our combat skills. Ah, they were. So they're they're dark arts related stuff. They're dad stuff. Well, no, they're not dad stuff. They're just dark art stuff. Pity upon four. Dad is defense against the dark arts, not dark arts. Confringo! <laughs> Levioso. Stupid. Accio. Protego. Stupid. Levioso. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Oh, got him. Eight legs is simply too many. Agreed. What's over here? Have we been over here? We have. I still haven't found what I'm looking for, by the way. <laughs> still have not found a single one of what I'm looking for. Maybe this way. I think we've been up here. No, we were up there already. Go this way. I want to see more of that tower with, uh... With, uh, the one... No. Where was it? Oh, that one? What? What is that? Let's take a look at the map. What is that? 
It's this tower, whatever this is. Hmm. Anything look mountainous? Any of these regions stand out to you where we can collect what we need? Like this is a forest still. I don't know, man. Because I was reading up on those eggs or whatever. We can't even go up there. It's not going to be over here. What is this? What are you? Oh, I needed to land on it. Okay. <laughs> Revelio. Is this something? What are you? What is that? It looks like a Quidditch case. It's got like a doll in it. There's got to be something of value over here, right? Or why would it be looking over here? Revelio. Oh. We need all of these. You and you. Confringo. I feel like there could be an easier way to get the broom out, I'll be honest. Revelio. Oh, we've we have been in this tower. We have been in this tower. I am dumb. That was earlier today, actually. It was one of the first things we did today. Hey, I think I need that. You know, we're just gonna do that. All right. Hey, big guy, come here. Understand how to do that now. Levioso. Nope, didn't work. Ugh. Does this work? Nope. Here. No! Glacius! 
heavily armed. Kinda dumb. Oh! He was kind of quick on that. That was close. Ow! I needed that. <laughs> I knew I needed that. Roll under the bridge, yes sir. Hey buddy. Petrificus totalis. Oh, I stunned him a little bit. Glacius. Dang. I did nothing to him. Rest easy, my large friend. I used everything. I was using it all on him. What do we got over here? What is this? Oh, it's a frog. Giant purple toad. Hey, guys. What's up? How you doing? Levioso. Dang, he ran. I was gonna make him float. Alright, well, I mean, at least we came across some trolls, so that was something that we needed to do. We're kind of in swamp lands. This is the opposite of where I need to be. Away we go. We'll head back towards the general area that we need to be. Now you want to watch Harry Potter? I feel that, dude. I feel that. They're such good movies. Such good films. Oh, it's getting frosty out. We're going to have to get some winter gear on. We're going to get a little cold out here. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Where, what is this? Little farm out here. That's kind of cool. Guy playing music. Oh, let's get the uh, let's get this. Oh, I don't have to dismount to get that. The mind. Nice. Good warning. I like it. We just yeah, we did just watch the last four. Yeah. Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, and then the two Deathly Hollow films. In preparation for the game. We did it, what, like the, the two days before the game came out? It's a very well done game. Very well done. I have enjoyed myself so far. And, uh... Oh, I took my watch off. I wanted to check what time it was. What time is it? We still got about an hour. For today, at least. I want to get this one task that I'm trying to accomplish. I want to get this done before we finish today. Let's head towards the south side of the map. We haven't been there yet, so let's head that way. We'll follow the train track straight through. Billy's over here like, I don't know how I'd fare in a small little place like this. Kong's like, dude, that place rocks. <laughs> I like my broom. I like my broomstick. 
We got our team on it. We got Ravenclaw colors on it. We got a nice little uh, kept up a uh, little butt area. A lot of Merlin trials out this way. Spider! Hit a flaming spider to blow it up. Oh, this looks promising for us. I don't know if we... Is that a hippogriff? Let's go fly next to it. Look at it. Oh, that's so cool. Is it going to catch something? That was awesome. This is so awesome. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, that was so sick. That was so awesome. I can't go any higher. I'm too scared. I can't go any higher. That was awesome. All right, now back to what we were originally trying to do. <laughs> We got to see a hippogriff up close and personal. Yeah, see, I want to see if we can get up there. An encampment. This must be it. Oh, hey, this is a quest. I'm just going off of what the, the that little book that we have was telling us on maybe where to find what we're looking for. Do hippogriffs have nests? Is that a thing? So I'm thinking like mountainous region. But it says we can't fly. Can't dismount here. Here? What about here? No? I don't think we're supposed to be up this far. Not Buckbeak, not interested. Hippogriffs are so cool. Boo! We want blue! Boo! In my path. Did I ever find you first? What's this? Hmm. Intriguing. Who are you? This is cool. What is this? Whoa! Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service. And I sell a variety of tra traveling necessities. necessities. What you got? What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? Brooms? 
There's gotta be something special about that broom. Right? I need these. Dang. Sell. Uh, I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. And yet, here you are. You won't be disappointed. I, I hate to miss you that. I hate to have to buy one of those, but I so mean, nice I literally cannot by. find the ingredients for it. And you guys know me, like, I, if I can avoid looking up something and, uh... I, I don't have the right... I don't have the abilities to flip it over. If I can avoid looking something up, and if I can figure it out in-game, I'll figure it out in-game. But from what that book was telling me, it's kind of... Like, a mountainous area, right? You have a dentist appointment in five hours? <laughs> nah. Imagine being a doctor for teeth. Teeth are important. Alright, we're gonna head back to Hog Hogwarts, or at least close to it, and then we'll take a look at must have what been we quite need. In his time. Uh, I guess we just need to use the potions. We don't need to use them necessarily doing anything, which will allow us to do two quests. Which I said in the next hour I wanted to be able to try to get uh, done, and uh, I think... We're going to be able to do that. We're going to get them both done. We're soaring. We're flying. <laughs> uh! Wonder who lives here. Oh, not even close. Hey, you know whose house that was that we just passed right there. Classic bridge. All right, let's take a look at our quest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Do I think the Hogwarts students have the weekends off? I think, um, I think they can. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good handle. I like it, I like it. Still not as good as this one, but I like it. That's definitely a second place. Um, I definitely think they can. Um, I think it's a school where, um, you can definitely practice whenever you want, though. You know, that one's not that bad. I'm having a hard time putting away the classic, though. I'll tell you what. Like, I think this one is, is cool. Maybe if I didn't want to wear my colors, but I want to wear my colors, right? Um, this one is also a nice one. This one is up just a little bit, but there's no trait. Ooh. Ooh, it looks good, though. It looks really good. Apparently, they do have weekends off. Okay. Kong, when do you see yourself diving headfirst into this game? Or are you going to take it at a slow, leisure pace? Alright, 
to the quests. So we need to just, I guess, just use the potions now. And then we just need to go see Professor Garlic. Cast the Pulso on a levitated enemy, which we've almost got. Then we'll be able to do that one. So we'll be able to go bang, 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 one, two, three on all of these. And then it'll unlock this one. So we may do all three of those and then do this one and we'll probably be done for the day. I think that's going to be the game plan for us. It's so cool. It's fall. Look at how they're... This is so cool. Oh, this is where we were doing the... Dang, we were doing this right at the front of the school. Hello, Homura. In, in the administrative building? God, we're savages. It's Halloween. We're in the fall season, yeah. Dark Arts Cloak? I thought we got an achievement for that. <laughs> hmm. Since you're here, Kong, we'll take a look at this dark arts cloak. It's not the best one that we got yet, though. All right, let's see what it looks like. This one. Not bad, not bad. It looks pretty good. I just don't have a way to wear my colors with it, you know? But it, it looks good. I like it. It looks uh, very uh, felt-ish. It looks like it's made out of felt. Looks good. I like it. That's a good one. Okay, so we're gonna use this. And then we're gonna use this. And then use this. Excellent. Attend a potions class during the day. Where is this? Revelio. Oh, look at this bridge. We can fly out of here. It's Halloween. I should put on a ridiculous outfit. I'm down. I'm down. Let's 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 get something. Let's get something wacky going. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's, uh, let's change our appearance. Uh, glasses. We'll start with some funky looking glasses. We got some lizard glasses. We said green ones, some red ones. We don't have any blue ones, though. I kind of like these. I kind of like this. I know we got plenty of crazy, wacky looking hats. We can't really match, though. I could go with a full knight outfit, because I do have the suit of armor as well. 
So we could go as a full knight right now. Oh, I like that. I like that with it. Okay, okay. We're getting wacky up in here. Um, let's take this off for now. We got a lot of just school colors. We don't have anything too, too crazy. I mean, maybe that. We got to get a scarf with it too, though, right? We're kind of almost dressing up like Wacky Day. We want some contrast here, right? Because we got green on top and red in the middle. What are we thinking? Dress a little wacky for a little while. I think it may be the light blue one. Yeah, I think that one works. <laughs> Just look as ridiculous as we can. That matches. We don't want that. We don't want it to match. We need an open one. Let's go scaly. Alright, we'll rock out with this for a little bit. We look absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we need potions class. Oh, that's Sebastian right there. We don't have like wacky things that match. All of our wacky stuff's just gonna look ridiculous together, so... <laughs> uh, we gotta go across... Professor Garlic! No better feeling than sponging your cabinet. And then we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to get prepared for winter season. Cause it's about to get cold! What are you up to now? Well, I know, I know we need potions class, but where's Professor Garlic? We need Professor Garlic, right? I'm up to no good, my lady. Where is she? Why is she over here? Not in her class. That's a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. Tentacular. That's that's okay. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor. We look Bob. ridiculous. As Wonderful. intended. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, 
Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Okay. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Speaking from experience here, teacher. Beautiful. Flipendo! Now we can flip those frogs on their back. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Yes, ma'am. I would love to. Mind the Flipendo. Pass. Look at that. You're a natural. Flipendo! Flipendo! The knockback, Jinx, Flipendo, like Accio, is a force spell capable of dispelling violet shield charms by flipping targets upside down. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, right on the Thames. I expected a farm. You know, kind of. I didn't really think about it, but kind of, yeah. Forgive me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library, my first days here. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely, and I was remarkably fortunate. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seats this week. Lovely to see you. That's why she's our best and favorite teacher right there. That's awesome. Excuse me. Coming through. Um, I, we do not have any puffy coats, yes. Yet. Yes? We don't have any yet. All right, now we gotta post, we gotta go to post class. Let's go. Dude, Professor Sharp's gonna look at us and be like, are you serious? <laughs> I feel like Professor Garlic would be like, Oh, how creative. That's awesome. You know, we're dressing up with our wacky costume for Halloween. Professor Sharp's just literally going to be like, Are you serious? <laughs> you look ridiculous. Well, Professor Sharp is so Hold on, I'll hold that thought. Oh, okay, we don't have to talk to him right away. You know, you, the blind kid, I feel like, you know, would not be a great student in potions. I'm gonna be honest. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. We got it. Swish and flick. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should... Akio! Guardian Leviosa. ...not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. 
I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay, we'll do that. What would we put on? We'll just throw that on there. No, we'll throw that one on there. Um, no, 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 no. Leviosa. No, no, that's the, what is that one? Levioso. That's right, that's right. So up, push, pull, flip. Okay, so Levioso. Up. Depulso. Well done. Back. Add us. Determined to master your spellcasting. Why does that one why does it flip on Wingardium Leviosa? I guess maybe it's because it's the book or something. I don't know. That's weird. All right, whatever. We got that one learned. Boom! We got another one of those potions. Okay, all right. We're killing it now. And now we can main quest it up. Okay, so we're going to track this, and then we're going to turn around, and we're going to go... Flying near the spires? Okay, I don't, I don't necessarily know what that means, but, uh, Depulso on a levitated enemy. Also want me to collect troll? Okay, yeah, so we need to find, defeat a troll to complete their assignment. My field guide will not guide me through the assignment, but my map could be useful. Okay. Um, I don't... Oh, that's for Descendo. Okay. So we'll have like all the up, down, push, pull. We'll have all of those. Which we can use on people. Like we can manipulate people around versus just objects. So that's the difference between Wingardium Leviosa and then the Pulso and the Flippo and the Pusho and all that stuff. So we'll do that. Uh, we've got that one marked, but we're going to go to uh, Hogsmeade. Away we go! Oh! Okay, well, good to know you can't crash, because I would have just crashed. Yeah, look at you losers not dressed up for Let's Halloween in the fall in the area. Suite. Look at you guys. Normies. That's a bastion? Hey, champ. Please, uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. You like my sense of style? Styling and profiling right now, baby. Uh, sell. Still not high enough level for that. Uh, which, honestly, we could even just sell that. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. Can we compare from here? Um, you have this. The so 41, but I have increased. Okay, so that's 49, so it's up 8. Honestly, it's just better what I've got on. So we're going to sell that, and we're going to sell that. Alright, we got a little bit of money in the bank again. A little bit. 
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Yeah, I know that that bearded guy, yeah. The rock star of those like two episodes or whatever. Alright, so I want wait. No, I did. Okay, I did. I, I did. I did. I just freed up all my face. So we're gonna go and continue our story. Looking ridiculous. Oh, we got a side quest Hello too? There. Nice to see you. I, I'll never get over her voice, man. Clementine Willard Z. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willardsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay. Very sure. well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. What an odd side quest. Don't Follow forget, the butterflies. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Okay. Anyway, moving Hello, on to more Ryan. important things. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <laughs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But... He recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Well, I, I, I can't physically watch it, but yeah, I got you. All right, we gotta go to the Hogshead. Right there. We've already looked at all these doors. These are all uh, level two doors. The tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I wonder what that would be used on, like, in terms of combat. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. What? 
Oh, what's up, champ? What's he doing here? He's just chilling. Vibing. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. What's up, man? Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. <laughs> He's got a thick yes, one. Did, crazy. Did she? did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. All right. See you later, Amit. It does very much so seem sus. Very much so. I, uh... Let's just say that I am, uh... I'm going to be prepared for things to go wrong. I'm ready. Good. My game's not, There's though. There's no time to lose. Ah. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. That's fair. That's valid. Yeah, that was definitely a stream please moment. <laughs> the game be struggling at times. I don't know why. I don't think it's a hardware issue. I don't know if it's a game issue. I, I really don't know. I'm not letting it really bother, you know, my uh, playthrough too much. This is an awkward walk we're having here. Think about it. Think about it. Why do I have a feeling we were supposed to be having dialogue this whole time? And now I get to monologue about 
Okay. So... <laughs> You would think goblins would wear gloves a lot, right? Like padded knuckle gloves because their arms are as long as our arms are. But on a body of their size, it's like, man, oh, and their hands are literally dragging the ground. Doom. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? What is all of this? Oh my god, he got the zoomies there for a second. You can't imagine. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Um. <laughs> it seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate. But I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and... Most effectively, fire. All right. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Well, he seems to be concerned about my safety, at least just a little bit. And it's probably because um, I have a use and a purpose to him and he doesn't like outwardly looking at him he doesn't seem like he's bad he doesn't seem that he it doesn't seem that he has bad intentions but sometimes those are the ones that you got to look out for he does he looks like a friendly old grandpa he looks like the guy from Up, but a goblin. <laughs> All right, we get to do a uh, a tomb in our wacky costume. It's sealed. We're missing a moth. Oh, that's that's not what I originally thought it was. Moths. Curious. Merlin's beard. What's in Merlin's beard? Rebellion. Okay. We'll keep on moving on. We went to the left, then we went to the right. Where's the third moth? This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Oops. Lumos. Do the old loop-de-loop. -loop. There's nothing in there. How do we... Uh, Accio. this one. Yeah, that worked. Lumos.
I don't know what to expect. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. What gave you that feeling? Uh oh. That? Thank God we've already come across these. Uh, we need that. Levioso. Akio. Confringo. Oh, it sets him on fire. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Confringo. Stay back. Oh my god, my game died. Okay, we're good. We're back. Expelliarmus. Akio. Confringo. Oh, got him. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Akio. Confringo. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Akio. Confringo. Levioso. Boom. That was clean. Our game broke, we were still able to get that, uh, that dodge roll in. That was close. I've noticed one of the things that causes the game to struggle is jumping. Like, if I haven't done it in a little Lumos. while, I, I don't know why, but it, it seems to be an issue. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Depulsa! I'm so, I'm so smart. I nailed that. See, we jumped and it it, it broke. Lumos. I, I have noticed that that's a little bit of a, a thing. Come here. Confringo. Probably should have looked at my surroundings before just down I go. No other way. Oh. It just didn't fall it's like the other one did. On the other side. 93? Dang. Akio. Oh, we're going through this door first. Revelio. Levioso. Brilliant. Accio. Wingardium Levioso. Ah. Okay, so why does Accio go into Wingardium Levioso? Why does it do that? Is it supposed to do that? It pulls an object and then it it I float it. It's so weird to me. All right, down we go. Oh God! Screw it! Yay! I'm going this way. What are you? Akio. Oh, well, hello there. Ah! Yeet! Merlin's beard. 
This place is huge. Lumos. Oh, uh, go away, little guy. <laughs> Confringo. Levioso. Ow! Levioso. Accio. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Oh. Okay. Okay. Chill. Ow. Okay. Chilling you guys out for a second. Confringo. Expelli arms. Over here. Akio. Confringo. Oh my god. Levioso. Expect. Confringo. Expelli arms. Beautiful. Dude, my Confringo thing, when it hits and it shoots off and into other targets, is so good. That was so many enemies, though. Lumos. That was by far the most I've come across. Akio. Oh, we need this one, too. Lumos. That sounds like a new tattoo design. About to come into play. Am I right, Blazing? Am I right? Come here. Little moth boy. Little moth boy. Wait, where is this guy supposed to go? There? I was using the wrong one. What's up, little guy? He's twirling and stuff. Why are you twirling and stuff? Where does this go? Dark Arts Dueling Gloves. Uh-oh, we're starting to form a Dark Arts uh, uniform. No. Depulso. Depulso is what we need. Uh -huh. Lumos. <laughs> Wait, why did we put the other little guy? Oh, can we get him from here? Wingardium Leviosa. Levioso. Akio. I'm confused. Cause we can't we can't get him now. Lumos. Okay. This looks got... even more complex. We got a puzzle here. Can I make this jump? <laughs> yeah! Revelio. 
Akio. Yeah. I didn't think that would work. Heck you, bro. Ugh, push it off. Oh, it broke. That's actually kind of cool. What are we thinking here? Oh, that kind of hurt. So I took homeboy. I moved one of the homeboys onto there so you can spin it and climb. And then I've got other homeboy here, but I can't... Lumos. Can I? Can. The bolsa. I cannot. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he flew back to his original spot. I got it. I got it. I got it. Chad, do you have it? Do you have it figured out? I got it figured out. I think. No, I don't have it figured out. I thought I did there for a second. Can I take these guys off? Lumos. I can. Okay. So that's probably a sign. Okay. Was there one already in the door? Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Hmm. Because there was the Lumos. one... There was the one here. Which we can put him back there. And then there was the one on this side. <sighs> so if I... Take you out... What if we put one on all three down here? What will that do? Okay, well... I should probably come down with one first. We'll try that. I thought I had it. Oh, no, that's not. I thought I had it at first. Not the other way. Lumos. But we're going to try this out. We're going to see how this works. Take one of the boys. Oh, it raised that up. Oh. Wait. Come back. Well, now I know what to do. Lumos. I didn't know that it raised that platform, too. Okay, well, that's easy then. Capulso. Lumos. Come here, little guy. Lumos. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I was actually thinking something along the lines of that us. too. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. I really thought I had that kind of figured out, out, and then I got up there and I went. Compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. Relaxed jumper, school uniform. Better show this to Lord Gok. 
There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Are, are we leaving? Did we get what we needed? I hope so, because we just left. We just... I, I didn't mean to just kind of yeet Skeeter Burrito right out of there. Ow. I'm not ready to stop playing for the night, man. I'm having such a good time with this game. What's up, champ? We, we, we made it. We're in and out. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Very well. I'll head there now. I can Good. handle it. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Yo, I got an idea. Oh, the scarf. We can go full on, like... We've got... Face wear. We can cover our face. A new headpiece. Oh my god, it's the same. Same level. Increased damage from Dark Mongols. That's the wolves. And we've got Dark Arts gloves now. They'll never suspect a thing. They'll, they'll never expect it to be us, right? Boom. Oh, those gloves are fire, though. Oh my god, we got some classy uniforms. There we go, dark legs. Brilliant. They'll never know. Look like a cult member? Exactly! You wouldn't look at that and go, Oh, Billy, that's... Is that you, Billy? No. We went from Hogwarts Legacy to Assassin's Creed up in this. Expelliarmus. Wow, clapped. What's down there? Oh, there it is. Dude, I couldn't even see it. So dark. I'm Batman. Where is she? Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Where's Rachel? Where is she? Oh, this is right here at the... No, this isn't what I was thinking. There they are. The Ashwinders. And poof. Oh my god, they're doing so much Protego. damage. Oh, back. you got a dodge roll. You can't protego that. What are those? 
Oh. Oh, he won. Expulsion. Oh. Expulsion. Oh. Expulsion. Boom. What you've done. You pay for it. <laughs> oh. Expulsion. Expulsion. Well, I think just scratches. I could have, I guess I could have grabbed the helmet while he, they were fighting, but. I think he's watching it now. How good is his eyesight? Oh, too good. Alright, we're gonna have to fight him. No sneaking past this. Flip a club, a troll's club onto its face. That did some good damage, though. How do I Akio? Repender. Depulsor. None of those worked. How do I flip it? Levioso. Repender. I don't think I I I don't think I can. Oh! Expelliarmus. Confringo. Protego. Come on, I gotta be able to, right? Levioso. Oh, Levioso, you think? Wingardium Leviosa. Oh! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ow. 25 is the max. We learned that. Levioso. <laughs> Oh. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Oh, what did you think we... Protego. Levioso. Depulso. Repender. Accio. I get him to stun. <laughs> oh! Expelliarmus. <laughs> oh! Confringo. That was a close one. We just needed to. We needed to end it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to learn how to like maybe maybe we don't have what we need. We can flip it. That'd be that'd be kind of funny to watch happen. That was a good call though on the Leviosa. Drop it right on his head. Revelio. It. There it is. Uh oh. This is for Rockwood. Oh, try not to make this too easy for me. Oh. Your luck has 
run out. I yeah, we'll see about that. Boom! Don't sneak up on me like that. I've had enough of this. I killed. Oh, did I get him already? Bro, sniped. Oh no, he's still alive. Levioso. Come here. Expelliarmus. Confringo. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. That's that ancient magic, baby. They ain't ready for that ancient magic, baby. Confringo. Imagine how cool we look flying around oh! and crashing, but flying around in our dark arts get up coming out of the forest like that. Sick. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. We're here. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. <laughs> it looks like a helmet. <laughs> it just looks like a helmet to me. Ah, you're looking at what it is rather than what it means. To most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah. Then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. New quests available. I expect we're gonna get some owls here. I would uh, suspect. Oh, that actually kind of matches a little bit. We look ridiculous. Hello, friend. Yep. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Okay. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Yeah, it's doing work, man. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. We get to play with animals? I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? What have we done with Adelaide? Rebellion. Where do we know Adelaide from? I recognize the name. Oh, Fudge! Um, we'll, I think we'll talk to Deke. And see what he's got for us, and then we'll be done. I think we'll be done for the night. We should be able to pick up again tomorrow.
was was Adelaide? No, I don't think Adelaide was the hippogriff girl. I don't think so. She was wearing Hufflepuff though, wasn't she? I believe in you. <clears throat> this way. Soon, hopefully, I won't even have to think about it. I'll just be able to go. I mean, I am getting close to that point, but... Oh, Deek! I'm almost there, Deek! We're at the room of requirement. We can grab all of our stuff that's been sitting here. For the last, like, hour and a half. We get to play with animals inside our room of requirement. It's going to be awesome. Deke. Hey, ah, buddy. Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, can we steal our little homie, I wonder? The little tongue guy, the fluffy tongue guy. Maybe we can get a hippogriff. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I love him. Look at him. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. How do I use it? T, and then hub over... Oh, it's a spell slot. 
Okay. Um. Oh, they give us so many of these. Um. We'll do that. Okay, we get to pick one. Which one? I like this one. I saw a red one as well. Like red, red. Look at them all. Look at them all. I love them, bro. These these little creatures are awesome. Did we take the red one? Oh, he's black and white. I like the black and white one. They're they're basically poros. Where's the, where's that where's that black and white one at? Is that him? Is it that one? Why has that one got a star? You. You. This one. Oh, I missed. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Boom. You got one. We did it. We got him, Deke. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Oh, we're ready. Um, let's get another one. What do you guys think, the red one? Should we get the red one? <laughs> you guys want me to name the one with the star Dak? Oh, <gasps> finally. Oh, there's two red ones. Oh, this one. No, that one. Boom. How many will it hold? I'll look after you. Oh, that one's awesome. All right, we'll start with two, and we can come back and get some more. We'll start. We'll start with two. So that way, they got they got a buddy, you know. Nope, not what I wanted to do. One of these days, I'll remember that it's uh, Tab Three and not Control these Three. Have seen better days. Or not Alt Three, Tab Three. <laughs> We gotta get ourselves some uh, puffy jackets and stuff for winter. Uh, I'm coming in hot, Deke. What's up, buddy? Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay. Then I shall yeah. go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Deke will be waiting. Thank you, Deke. Appreciate you. They're so cool looking. They're so pretty. Levioso. 
Come on, come on! Got it! There, there. I got I'm it. I'm going to hurt you. I got him. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Bye, Deke. Tab three. I remembered that time. Here we are. Off on another adventure, are we? Always. Sub Deke, we're back. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. All right, well, now we just gotta wait. Gotta wait till nightfall. Another day. Hold on. I got an idea. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're like llamas, bro. I want you. I want that one. I want that one. Um this. You. Adios. Howen will never believe this. Come back. I missed. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's elusive. This one's elusive. Da. 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 Got him. Settle yourself. I mean, you know harm. It was a I bit love trickier this. than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Uh, take me with you, Deke. Oh, I gotta go all the way back. Ugh. I don't know if this is one of those situations where fast traveling might be faster because we can get to the room of requirement pretty quickly now. We know how to get there. If only we could get it from that side. I don't think we can get there from that side. Whoa! Whoa! This is new. Money's on the left guy. Oh, he missed. Oh! He's good! Dang. Straight up duel. Old fashioned style. No wands needed. Oh, Peeves. Get away from me, Peeves.
Almost there, don't worry. A little bit of a trek. God, peeves. Hope you fall off the staircase. Alright, we made it back to the room of requirement. See, I don't know, that was kind of quick. And the load time is much faster going into the room of requirement than it is to, like, fast travel somewhere. And we'd have to fast travel here and then get into the room of requirement. You can't just fast travel into it, I don't think. Sub Deke. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh no. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. What? What just happened? Actually, perhaps another time. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Half H. Oh. Select a beast from your inventory to add. Uh. Well, there's Dak. There's Red. Wait, I can only do one at a time. Wait, what'd that say? Oh, I gotta select one of each kind. Okay. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. When magical beasts are nurtured, they provide material uh, with magical pro properties, beast feed, yep, petting, yep. Uh, hover over, yep, mm-hmm. Oh, man. What, what, this game, there's so much in this game, man. Okay, uh, so we gotta go back to how we had this set up before. There you go, buddy. Wonderful. Eat up, Dak. Eat up. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Yummy. Brush time, Dak. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves it. It's done. It's over. Where are you going, Dak? Oh, hey. What's up, buddy? We don't have a name for you yet. This is amazing.
<laughs> you look like such an airhead. Where's my bird? Oh, there's my bird. Go explore, little buddy. Looks like such an airhead. <laughs> Are you still eating? You kind of slow. I love this. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> where did Dak go? Dak's long gone. I don't know where Dak went. Oh, there he is. Look at him go! Look at him! He's just waddling off in the distance. <laughs> He's going to the river. I lost Dak. I don't know where Dak went. Dak went somewhere else. This is wonderful. And there's Moonstone here. I can just gather resources here. There's our boy. There's our boy. Can we name them though? Can we like officially name them or do we have to just remember? Um, can I fly? I can't fly in here. I was gonna go flying around. I see it's kind of like a, a dome. It looks like. I right, Deke, I'm ready. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. We're about to get a magic loom, baby. Oh, that was slick. Oh, we got a conjure. Uh, well, dang, you made me replace it. Um, that. What is this? Oh, the enchanted loom. Well, what is this? Oh, we've got so many. Oh, not now. We're not doing that now. I'll do that like I, I've said before on my own time. Um, here, here. Um, I like how it makes everything blue just like right out the gate because we're Ravenclaw. So they're just like, oh, of course you want blue, right? Sure. Why not? Um, yeah, we'll put it right in the middle. Why not? Uh, gear features one primary offense or defense stat by default, right? Magical materials can be used uh, with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in bandit camps. Okay. But what about this? View upgrades. Okay. And then every 30 minutes we can claim some more. Okay. That's cool. Oh, we gotta add a trait to something though. View traits. Oh, that's what these are. Well, we can only add this, so we're adding this. Increases damage with Incendio. Well, I don't use Incendio. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Hey, Deke. Check it out. I look fly, baby. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. 
For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. The elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Nice. We have completed said challenges. Um, I mean, this is gonna be a perfect place for us to stop because it's like a break in the story, and now we've get we, we can kind of pretty much do whatever we want. Quests. Meet Sebastian. Yep, that'll be the start of the next part. Defendo. Follow the butterflies. A friend indeed. Adelaide Oaks seems to be worried about somebody. I don't think Adelaide's the girl that was at the... I don't remember... Like, the name sounds familiar, I just don't remember her. Uh, completed and claimed... Uh, this one. What, what does this give us? Necromantic Protection 1. Oh, okay. And we're working on those still. Room of Requirement. Rescue, we need five more. We've almost got the whole fit for that. Quidditch captain's uniform. Oh, we're going to look fly with that. Pop five sets of balloons. we got to do that three more times. I don't know what that'll give us, but that'll give us something. Secret solver's bathing costume. Why would I want that? Quests. Top of the class. What is this one? Complete assignments? So I guess that's for all the, um... What's it called? Um spell stuff that we're learning okay okay lucky leprechaun gloves well look at us we got all kinds of stuff and that's everything dang that's a lot inventory there's our boys. We gotta go in there. We gotta we gotta let them free. I'm so happy that we got some Ashwinder eggs finally. We need a lot more of them though. Cause that's what they're used. That's what we use them for. Back in we go. Oh, you can summon them? But you can't name them. You can't name them. Hi, guys. <laughs> They're just looking at me like, hi. What's up, guys? Amazing. Eat up. Eat up, little guy. Oh, you can see where the... Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, look. Look at him. They're meeting... They're meeting for the first time. Oh, he's sleeping. He's sleeping.
This is heaven on earth. I love it here. We're never leaving. Oh, he's awake. He's awake. We were too loud. Little buddy, little buddy. This is fantastic. Back in we go. Whoa! What just happened? What just happened? We're broken! We are... What? What's going on? We're him! We're him! Oh god. What has happened? What did we do? How did we break? Bring us back. Are we good? Gotta wander until I am able to interact with something. That's a scary bug, not gonna lie. All right, we got a, we got one of our little potions. How many of these do we have? 24. We can only make and carry one more. We can make a lot of those, though. We'll make one of these, and then um, I think we'll wrap up for the day. We don't even have to go to the common room anymore like we've been doing. We can just leave out right here. Because this is the spot to be. Like, I would expect us to be able to do a little bit of this stuff in, a, in, in like, our room in the common room. But, uh, this is crazy what you can do here, man. This is wild. Alright, Deke. This is it. Until we meet again tomorrow, champ. Hold down the fort. Take care of the kiddos. I appreciate it.